Welcome back, friends, to Biting Malevolence. We are not adventuring in the Hamlet tonight. As you can see, our beloved cleric Clovis is not here. So we will be doing a one-shot. We will be establishing a little bit of history of the world of Ravania and meeting some new and exciting characters that make up Ravania's history. So, before we start, um, let's go around the table as I see it on my screen and let us meet our new characters. Please tell us who you are and what you are playing tonight. So we are going to start with Lucretia. <clears throat> well, good evening, y'all. I am Lucretia Belladonna Artemisia de la Riviera. Yes, those de la Rivieras. I am a bard by trade, specialty in the sword, but not too shabby with the song. I'm 58 years old, and I have spent every single one of those years wisely. And I'm simply here for a good drink, atmosphere, adventure, and um, we'll see where we go from there. And um, uh, Lucretia because... is an otter kin, by the way. Yes. So imagine the Helen Mirren of otters, of <laughs> anthropomorphic otters. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Skimmond with a D. His full name. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Skimmit is like I. It's it's a very like weird fu fusion. But what's the what's the like small boy from Over the Garden Wall with the like cute, with the cute little like suspenders and the like he <laughs> he's like that if he was just like really big, just like right. Like, it, yeah, he looks like, like he looks and acts like Greg from Over the Garden Wall and just like pure cute little little pig energy but is also like giant and huge boar so just like kicking his little feet in a cute little like he's got little green suspenders on um but he's he's just a massive little pig guy <laughs> and he's got a big he's got a like massive like adventurer's backpack on full of like, it like jingles when he walks <laughs> it's got all and, kinds uh... of Weaponry. What is his class? Oh, he is a he is a barbarian. <laughs> okay. Also does not realize it yet, but he has been adopted by Lucretia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next we have I hope I pronounce it right, Ferret or Ferout? Ferrut. Ferrut, <laughs> even Ferrut. <laughs> not the Zero and two. <laughs> no, you're so good. Ferret Ferret also works. But yeah, Ferret. Um I'm a Pope. <laughs> I am, um, my name is Moira, first of all, <laughs> let's cover the bases, um, and tonight I'm playing a Warforged Barbarian, um, specifically Path of the Storm Herald, and um, Ferret is a kind of worn, rusty, definitely slightly aged looking Warforged um, that has these kind of intricate little crystal pieces, um, specifically one that comprises a one central eye um, on their face um, with different kind of etchings and charts and maps kind of throughout um, with also this kind of sense of similar to civilizations that have been reclaimed by nature, that kind of post-apocalyptic, like this old worn down industrial body, but with pieces of moss, vine, twig that have kind of come to reclaim um in between so yeah that's ferrut all right and last but not least renan oh renan just messed up some stuff for the stream so uh brennan's renan's working on some stuff <laughs> okay Ooh. actually very fitting for my character um give me two seconds i have to plug in a code with uh like six seconds left on it Right. While we are waiting, um, oh. this one shot takes place about a thousand years, maybe, give or take a few hundred, uh, in the past of this world. Um, the Hamlet has existed at this point, but not for very long. Um, the events that pulled it into the Dread Realm happened very recently, and they happened during the sort of the the reign of Shoatan's tyranny. Um, 
This takes place in the events and years shortly after um, the fall of Shoatan and the Great Fey War, um, which I know is all lore that very few people in the chat actually know, but just suffice it to say, Zeus just defeated Kronos, to put it into perspective. Um, and so... We are going far into the past, but that does not mean you will not see these characters again, because as we have very clearly established, time means nothing in the Hamlet. So, Renan, now can you introduce yourself? I don't know if I want to now. No. <laughs> no. So uh, I, I'm Renan, um, just just a happy, uh, go lucky wizard. Um, I used to build uh, some really really nice um, mechanisms. Um, and I've been here uh, a while. I've been here a while. Um, and I am 45, 8, 102. I have an age. I don't know which one. Um, but I'm sure it's lovely. Uh, time is just so loopy. <laughs> but I am an Eldrin uh, elf. And uh, I, I think I know where I am at the moment. So, let us set the stage for our Biting Malevolence one-shot, Beauty and the Beast. It has been about 15 years since the devastating war raked across the land. The continents only recently split. People are still dealing with the fact that there is now an ocean between some of the places they used to be able to walk to. The Heart Root patron of life, and one of the two patron deities of the realm, has been slain. Her followers retreated deep into the haunted forests of Twilight. However, that is on Ravanya. We find ourselves on its sister nation of Orum, named for the magical gold Orum. found underneath. Named for the ma um, Those of you who have been following our campaign know that Orum is a very powerful magical conductor and dampener this is where it originated and this is where it is found most readily we find ourselves in the capital city of pinnacle which was built in the center under the rule of declan iron arm the first we find ourselves at what i can refer to as sort of a fantasy temp agency where adventurers who have either lost their party or never had one and are looking for adventure can bring themselves together and hire themselves out as mercenaries, taking jobs and being assigned parties. For whatever reason, each of you has found your way to this establishment, and you, as you walk in, are handed a card. On that card is a single print of ink with a color on it. The four of you find a card with a red dot. Players, you are now free to begin roleplay. Uh, I've, I've got red. Uh, is that what, what color is your? No, no, that's not red. Okay. Um, who else? Who else has got? Who else has got a red card? Any anybody in in? Oh, over in, here, in, Shug. I've got a red card. Oh, what? Hello, madam. Uh, you just like give like a little bow. Goodness gracious me, you are a sturdy young man, aren't you? I suppose so. That's a quite an adjective. Um, <clears throat> uh, yes, I, I suppose I am. <laughs> Don't you worry, hon. I know this big old world of ours can be very scary at times after you know. The recent events, but don't you, don't you worry. You are in the presence of Lucretia Belladonna, Artemisia de la Riviera, and I will take good care of you, sweetheart. Oh, well, thank you. I, I have uh, found myself in possession of a, a great deal of um, strength and seek to use it for good. <laughs> that is marvelous. That is marvelous. Hmm. I suppose. Uh, 
It's just the two of us. I said, no one else would yeah. um, see the red card. M- mine's, mine's red. Um, and right now it's red. Um, it could be brown soon, though. More of a maroon, probably burgundy. What does it mean? Uh, I do believe it means we've been grouped together, child. Come here. Uh, ch- mm. Perhaps child is a... You might refer to me as child. Uh, those primari, their age is so hard to gauge from afar. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm older, uh, but younger. I think. I, just know I have a red on. card, so we could go together, for a time. Or no time at all. You are so right, and I pull up my sleeve, and I have about <laughs> six watches on. I'm going based on any individual action or moment. We could change everything, Actually, or nothing. Lucretia looks around for a second just to make sure there aren't any thieves, uh, any rogues around, and she kind of puts her hand on on uh, Renan's sleeves. I might want to keep those, just just not so many of them in view, darling. I can make more. Yeah. yeah if it, if it should please you to do so, then perhaps. Are you, uh, 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 anyway, my you... name is Lucretia. This is... Oh, hi. I'm... <laughs> I'm I'm scared. Uh, sk- skimmed. There's a skimmed oh. anymore. Um, Rainin. Right now, I'm known as Rainin. The Rainin it is. Welcome to our little uh, uh, impromptu party. <laughs> I am Farood. I am also oh, Rainin oh Old. Goodness me. I just hold the card up and then I come and sit down. <laughs> like, you don't have, like the top half of me doesn't move. I just kind of like walk forward and just. <laughs> you are fascinating, so, dear. I'm gonna lean towards Farut and just kind of extend my ear and unless stopped, I'm gonna keep leaning in until my ear is on Farut, listening for any kind of like mechanisms or things going on. I'm sorry. Can I get some kind of clarification on? So you said you're a boat. Is this like a human, <laughs> a human-sized boat? So what, I, what I, am, I am created from the remnants of a boat, um, mm. but I am actually a warforged, and generally, so I'm, I'm automaton esque, right? I, I have a picture if it helps, um, kind cool. of envision more. But yeah, I'm kind of like a. I'm like a funky little robot that's got moss on it. Okay, I was, there <laughs> we go. Sorry, I, mi- I missed that, and I was trying to picture. Yes, no, you're good. Allow me, allow me to send picture. Farouk, while uh, while you're looking for that, do you allow Raina to get his head up on your chest? I do. I actually pantomimed me patting his head okay. because I thought he was seeking comfort. So, Raina, um, as you put your head on the chest, you hear what basically sounds like wind, but if you really perk up your hearing you actually hear the sound of what sounds like dozens of screams. Uh, oh. You are amazing, or were amazing, or something crazy happened to you, or will. I'm very excited to have you here. All four are true. Ooh, you're fun. I like this one. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, Man, as you guys really... as you guys are chatting um a young um Adam and Tari walks up to you um he's got sort of like slicked down brown hair he wears uh, the clothing of a nobleman um he has some light probably ceremonial armor <laughs> excuse me friends don't get covid um light ceremonial armor um, over his chest. Um, He's got a sword at his side and a sword on his back. And he says, You are the red team? When it appears we are, (laughs) Shug. For now. Excellent. Then you will be working for me today. Um, Allow me to introduce myself. I am Anton Laure, and he gives you an... um, a very ornate bow. And um, you would be helping me to find 
a dear friend of mine who was taken deep into the woods by a monster. Goodness gracious! Did I... she deserve it? What? Did she deserve it? Um, what do you mean? Skim and Dallin, perhaps we should let him explain before asking Yeah, I apologise. This is, this is a strange question. Why does one deserve to be taken into the woods by the monster? Well, I, I've got... It, his, I've got history. It's fine. It's, it's, I apologise. That was, it was very rude of me. i continue. He kind of gives you like, sort of like a sideways glance. I as I was, so. as I was saying, the, uh, the creature took her into the woods and I would, I would go myself. Of course, I will be accompanying you, but I, uh, my prowess with the sword is not what it once was. And I could, uh, well, <laughs> it's not what it ever was. I'm rather young, as you can see. I'm, but I want to save her myself. This is very important to me. But I needed assistance. And what I lack in swordsmanship, I make up for in uh, coin. So I have decided to hire the four of you. Well, with luck, Mizu's mercy will be with us and we will help your friends. Unless we can't and we die. I put very little stock. He just ignores you, Raymond. I put very little stock into his luck. I am more of a planner myself. And you see, he has um, what appears to be an amulet of Archimian. Uh, if you guys want, you can make an Arcana check. Yeah. I believe I will. You... I did not actually watch the game, goodness me. That will be a oh. 19. 10 plus Eleven. 9. 11. <coughs> okay. Oh, heavens. I did not even roll. Because I'm at a... Well, I suppose I, I... We're not in the village, but we need some music. Yeah, and that's why I didn't roll. <laughs> Five. Um, did that go through 22 yes, 22 okay um this <laughs> amulet is in jandit you're not really sure with what but um archimian being a goddess of knowledge and magic you can see that this guy's kind of you know very like grounded in the real world. Raynan, you are particularly drawn to this amulet that he wears because Archimian is also the goddess of time. So. Now then, I suppose we should be off unless you have uh, anything else you need. I will be supplying you with some things before we go. Um, he kind of just scans you. Yes, I think I have something for all of you. Something all of you can use. Yes, this will be good. Come, uh, the carriage is waiting. We must go uh, deep into the woods. And he kind of like hops off in a sort of like foppish way. And he's like looking at this guy, he's pretty solidly built. Like he probably is a decent sword fighter, but he is just one guy. Yes, because generally one-on-one -on -one sword fights with monsters don't end well. Generally. <laughs> what? <clears throat> well, I, I, I'm excited. Let's go. And I'm going to start following. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. All right. So, sorry. Skin and fair. Shall we go? I suppose. Um. Yes. We might as well. Lucretia walks is up with maximum sway in her hips. <laughs> um, a little bangles guys, and such. You guys make your way out, and you can see that um, Laro is sort of like moving some things around in his cart, and then he comes forward, um, and his arms are sagging a little bit, but he's holding uh, four bags, and he hands one bag to each of you. They're not even, 
Some of them are bigger than others, which is why he looks a little... Uh, but inside the bag, you find uh, 500 gold pieces, oh. which is your, your pay for this job. 500 um, each or 500 total? Each. Woo. Um, you also find... Um, <clears throat> Yummy. Uh, each of you find three potions of healing and one potion of greater healing. That's hey, going to be very useful. Hey, Clint, <laughs> this scares me. <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> um, and each of you also find um, a small bag of holding. Um, and he says, there is uh, something in each of the bags of holding for, uh, there's something in for each of you. Um, I did my best to, and you can see like in the back of the cart, there's like 30 bags. I tried to make, uh, you know, have enough for whatever party I ended up getting, but I think I found something that each of you can use. Delightful. <laughs> So, ah, oh, pay up front. Well, so, I certainly, I certainly trust you now. Three regular potions of healing, one superior. Great. Greater, not superior. Greater. Mm. So, uh, two that are one d four plus four, and one that is two d four plus eight. Uh, do any of you reach into your bag of holding? I do. Yes. All right. <laughs> Um, Ren and you pull out um, a glove with a diamond in the middle of it. Um, and it, as you uh, put it on, um, you feel sort of like a surge of magical energy. This is a plus one arcane focus. So it gives you plus one to your magical attack rolls, spell save DC, and uh, magic damage. Uh, so would you say it was one to hit, AC? Uh... And damage of spells. Okay, so plus one damage. Plus like one attack hit. spells. Plus one like hit. It won't affect fire. Yeah. Um, plus one hit, plus one DC, and plus one two attack spell damage. Cool. All right. And I'll just look at it for a while and just kind of move my hand around. Okay. I'll look in mine. All right, uh, you reach into your bag and you pull out um, a very fine rapier. Um, it's got, like, wire wrap around the handle. Um, and the blade is actually two blades that are intertwining, except at the very end they come to a sort of two-fingered point. Um, and as you flick the blade, it makes a, a very, a, like, a perfect note. Um this is a rapier that gives you plus one to attack rolls. <clears throat> um, uh, it, it gives you plus one to attack rolls, and also anyone who uses one of your bardic inspirations adds an additional one to the die they roll. Does that also count for my blade flourishes? Yes. Sweet. Anything that uses your inspiration adds one. I want to see what's in my bag. All right. So uh, you reach into your bag and you kind of feel like a sort of hefty handle. And as you pull it out, uh, it is an axe. Um, nice. This is... Um, and it's basically uh, just a plus one weapon. Um, so it is plus one to attack and damage rolls. And it is a great axe, so it does two uh, d six damage. Great! I will make quick use of that as soon as I can add it. Great axe plus one. Yeah, plus one great axe. Yes. Great. Wowee! And then, um, Farouk, your bag sort of opens on its own. And as you look in it, something flies out and smacks into your forehead. Um, an amulet sort of <laughs> embeds itself into your forehead, and you get what is essentially a cloak of protection. Oh. Um, you guys see as the amulet hits Farouk's forehead, there's sort of like a shimmer that crosses over their body. 
And then, um, Anton says, yes, I suppose we should be off. Um, you spoil us, sir. Hmm. Well, you know how to treat a lady. We go into danger. Um, and, uh, roll a perception check, everybody. Fifteen. Okay. Just eight. Thirteen. Fourteen. Okay. Um, okay. So, you guys all load up into the cart. <clears throat> and you... <laughs> You ride probably for the better part of an hour. So if you guys have any questions for Leroux or each other, now is the time to um, suss that out. I wonder why the cloak of protection isn't adding AC. You have to attune it. Oh. Um... Which you have time to do now. Excellent. Attuned. Lucretia will actually, um, now, you say that a beast of some kind took your friend away. Now, did you happen to, uh, get a, a, any sort of, uh, a, a visual of said creature? It was a horribly misshapen monster. Um, it looked like a, a giant, uh, a, a person, I, I thought it was, but it was much too large to be a person. It had horrible contorted face it was stronger than anything i have ever seen and just to look at it made one feel ill hmm. well that is a puzzler I've never heard anything like that but i always up to try something new yes I, I hope that we are not way late on the way. I worry for... You I worry? Worry for, her. for the one who was taken. Uh, she is... Could you tell us more about her? She is a young girl from my village. We, we grew up near each other. She was the daughter of another noble like myself. Um, we attended functions together often. We would see one another from time to time. And I um, suppose for my part, at least, the flirtations and the friendship was something more. I don't know if it was for her, but she was taken from her father's house by this creature and dragged deep into the woods wow. barely a week ago. It's a love story. Yes, I, I suppose it is. Well, we shall do everything we can to make sure this love story has a happy ending, and I will be sure to give that monstrosity a thorough lesson on treating a lady. Is that... that sounds good. We... Do we... do we know why a monster came to a house that it had never come to before? I... That is the right question. <laughs> the right questions, indeed. I believe her father owed something to this monster, some pact or contract. Oh, well, it's a monster with had, some level of sentience. He had traveled through these woods before and been attacked on the path by the Night Stalkers, and mm. apparently he was saved by a mysterious creature. Perhaps the creature was just coming to claim payment. But this this payment is not something that is allowed. Is there a ransom? There is no ransom. He just took her deep into the woods. Mm. I feel like he thinks he is entitled to her in some way. But I cannot abide men like that. Mm. And we don't know the nature of the creature? Or women, for that matter. <laughs> Just some kind of hideous, misshapen monster? 
There is a legend that a nobleman once held sway over that part of the dark wood. He was arrogant and foolhardy and would turn away guests at his whim. One night, a, a young woman came to his door seeking shelter and he turned her away into the storm. And it turned out to be Yujian in disguise. And so she twisted his form to be as dark as his heart. That's terrible mm. to judge someone based on only one moment in time. It sounds as though he had a, a history of such behavior, though. That is how the legend goes, at least. I know nothing about that part of the woods. I, um, I always thought better about yes. adventuring too far. I... I am not an adventure man myself. I am more of a... I am an adventurer by sport, not occupation. Not everyone's cut out for that life on the uh, permanent scale, but uh, it's good to know your limits. I... I am a hunter of some renown. I am a, a sword fighter, a duelist, but to fight real monsters, that is that is not for me. I will protect my home, I will protect what is mine, but I will not. I do not go out and seek dragons. I do not need this glory. And certainly I do not need any sort of financial return from that, as you can see. And he sort of, you know, puffs himself up a little bit. Hmm. Hmm. Um, what will you do once do you I, your friend Do dies? I see anything? Are we we're traveling in 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 what? Remind me. In um, basically just like a, a wagon, like a carriage. Okay. And these are woods we're traveling through, or what? Like. Um, you are getting into the woods. Yes. Okay. Currently, you're leaving a very heavily like Manhattan city. Gotcha. <clears throat> Mm. Where does it reside? In the heart of the shadowed forest. Some say it has been there since before the schism. In a house, cave, tree? A, ca a castle. Mm. Which I suppose does lend credence to the fallen noble. It is a castle very close to the schism, in fact. Um, it was on the fault line. Mm. It is not far from the sea. It is about a day's journey from here to the edge of the forest, and then a sort of a day's journey through the forest to where we are going. Hmm. Understood. If there is anything else I can help you with or any way I can make you more comfortable, please do not hesitate to let me know. I have some skill with the arcane arts. <clears throat> I can make you as comfortable as, as possible, but... Why was your friend taken? Why is anyone pay, taken by a monster? To pay a debt. Sorry, I didn't know if we already had that conversation or if it was in my mind. You are an interesting creature. You see the flow of time outside of what it normally is. Do you? Are you a follower of the time goddess as well? Oh, oh no, no, no. I don't follow a god. I follow science. I follow uh, engineering. <laughs> Should we return from this quest, you should seek out the Church of Archimian. I think they would find you rather intriguing. They also are men of science and engineering. Archimian, after all, is the goddess of knowledge, more so than time. Interesting. 
uh, perhaps if that's where my path leads. In, in fact, actually, I, maybe not. Maybe so. I, I'm actually really intrigued by this one. Not Who pointing at Furrow. Yes. They are rather interesting. I've never seen metal like this. It is not from here. Where are you from, Zin? Well, there's a lot to unpack in that question. I was born here, but I'm not from here. He sort of nods, like, wanting to understand, but very clearly just being like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Got it, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like your funny words, magic man. Mm -hmm. And yourself, you are, he looks to you, uh, Lucretia, you are a... You are a member of the, the La Riviera plan, are you not? I am indeed. <laughs> my father got tired of my brother got tired of my brother wanting me to uh, do something befitting the family, so I uh, <laughs> took one of his ships and made my way here. <laughs> my father and your grandfather have done business in the past. I am not surprised. <laughs> you you are... know how to you know how to sail? I know how to tell sailors to do things for me. <laughs> Very but, cool. But uh, I myself... That's, that's not the same. Those two things are not the same. No, they're not. But they get the job done one way or the other. <sighs> that being said, I probably should be a visit to Zachariah at some point one of, one of these days. Just to ensure he hasn't... Uh, Caught bounty on my head or some nonsense. Zachariah is your brother? Yes. Well, if you see Zachariah again, you tell him Anton still wants his 30 gold. He lost it to me in a card game. He said he owed it to me. Oh, my. Not Zachariah, you f silly boy, you. I, I guarantee you that is one today that he slipped Minerva's leash, my sister. Now she's the brain. If you, you, there's a saying, would you like to speak to the man in charge or the woman who knows what's going on? And she is most certainly the woman who knows what's going on. <laughs> that does sound right. As much as my father is the head of the business, it is my mother who runs the household. And, um, Skimont was it. What brings you to Pinnacle? I have not seen, uh, a Borkin out of the wildlands in some time. <clears throat> no, no, I, I travel, I travel quite a bit. Um, well, I've I've done many things. I've done uh, entertaining and, and storytelling and, well... Really? Yes, and the... the <clears throat> well, I have found that as I have grown, my skills may be uh, reluctantly lying in some other areas so i i sort of uh well do this for the money and tell my little stories on the side but you know well, it, work is work it is good to have your strength it is good to provide it i think we will be uh i think we'll be all right i see great potential amongst all of you I was very lucky to be a Satsi red card, it seems. Hmm. Oh, we'll find out one way or another. You, like myself, are an agent of fate. Oh, uh, cause and effect. Nihilistic. Cause and effect. What does yes. uh, that mean, agent of fate? You've... Reference I, your relationship with time more than once. I have a bit of a nihilistic view on the way of things. Time is not linear. As many people would like to believe, time is an ever-changing, ever-flowing, frayed rope. And depending on which chord we pluck would depend on how things play out. But 
if one could go back and change the cords that is plucked, that is a new, that is a new uh, thread altogether. Oh, These things we do exist. today can affect the past. <clears throat> These threads exist in constant competition with one another. I mean, even, even the calamity itself. To think that if that ship had been even one or two degrees to the left or the right, perhaps some of them would have survived, perhaps Jordan would have never been born and the war would have never happened. Perhaps we would still be living in the idyllic paradise that our fathers and grandfathers tell us about. I am going for a walk. <laughs> and Ferris <laughs> gets off of the wagon and just walks alongside the wagon. <laughs> um, Anton sort of looks and then sort of clocking that Raynan is not all there enough to really know what's going on because he is everywhere at once and Skimmond is sort of precious baby pig boy. He turns to Lucretia and says, Did I say something of offense? I, I, I meant no offense when I said this. <clears throat> I'm not completely sure, but I believe that our, uh, our metallic friend there may be a little more, shall we say, acquainted with the calamity than we are, and, um... Perhaps we should uh, keep suppositions about such things to uh, more of a less confrontational uh, lilt. Understood. I will. Now, I'm I'm merely uh, speculating at this point. I, I've only just met our uh, our uh, iron friend. Their design is. Intriguing. She almost, they almost look as if they were grown rather than built, but how does one grow metal? This is something I would be very interested to know. <clears throat> Perhaps we'll uh, catch them in a more uh, positive frame of mind, mind at another time and such questions might be answered. Uh, but for now, uh, you know what, this is, this is uh, it's entirely too quiet. Uh, would, it, would any of you care for some music? Uh, when you say care for some music, I just kind of take one up out of pocket watch um, and just kind of hold it near my ear. Music sounds lovely, Madame Le Bravira. Very well. And she actually has, because she is a bard and also has the entertainer background, she has two instruments. She has a lyre and a, pan, a set of pan pipes, which she actually has a shoulder rig for. So she actually can play the tan pipes and the lyre at the same time. Oh, nice. And um, obviously I, I can't... Box. <laughs> I, I can do neither of those things, and the music is copyrighted, but if you need a song to envision, um, Circle in the Sand by Belinda Carlisle. Ooh. All right. Um, so you guys travel on uh, with Lucretia entertaining you um, until nightfall. Um, and you are just to the edge of the forest, and Anton uh, makes setting up a camp. Um, each of you has your own tent to stay in. Anton's is, of course, a little bit nicer, but it is not much. Um, he says, uh, so there is no need for a watch. I, I have set the alarm spell around the perimeter of the camp. I will know if we are invaded, so all of you get your rest. I have a feeling tomorrow will be much more difficult than today. Do we have individual tents, or are we all in one? We have individual tents. Mm. Very nice. And you can do any sort of like nighttime rituals or whatever you have. I don't actually go to, uh, uh, Lucretia will go to Farrah and say, are you all right, dear? You seemed a bit troubled earlier. Me? 
isn't he? Oh, yes, I'm fine. I just don't like thinking about what I could have done differently. Yeah, that is, they say, hindsight is twenty twenty. But if you trouble me, just let me know, Dee, and I'll see if I can help. All right? Thank you. Hi, <laughs> darling. As are you. <laughs> and then I go into and then I go into my sentry's rest where I'm just like Karen <laughs> only has one eye and it just kind of like glows at you ominously <laughs> as I go completely still. <laughs> yeah, before I go into my tent, uh, just gonna rub my hands together and just moving in very particular uh, circular fashions and then just making certain angles and I just put my hands on my uh, my armor and clothes and as I open my arms I cast prejudice the digitation um, but instead of watching the wrinkles and the dirt kind of just disappear it almost looks like it goes backwards like the the crease starts to kind of straighten out the dirt sends it kind of starts to get smaller and goes oh, away that's, that's, cool. that's really cool <clears throat> Oh. All right. And I'll just Skimmons, go inside. Do you have a do you have a nighttime ritual? Uh, or do you just sleep. <laughs> I fucking conk out, dude. I, like, <laughs> I I like curl up in a little little piggy ball and I just <laughs> I, I got my little ears yeah. and I curve in and I just <laughs> I'm like I I'm like super cute, hey, but dude. like the the loudest snorer, like oh, yeah. it's just so loud. Okay. Um, oh, this is rooming with Minerva all over again. <laughs> her root. Could yes. you roll me a wisdom saving throw? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that it? That is a 14. Does the plus one bonus on saves automatically apply into the stats? How does that? Um, it should. Okay. Fantastic, fantastic. Then yes, a 14. Okay. Um, you have had the same nightmare a lot. It doesn't happen every night, but yeah. you usually have a nightmare of... Um, an earth-shattering storm, the screams of hundreds of people, um, and then there's always sort of like a dark, a dark-robed man, just sort of standing in the light of the lightning strikes. But you don't have that dream tonight. Oh. You uh. Perhaps it is because of the proximity of people. Perhaps it is because. <laughs> You are outside and in in and very close to nature. Perhaps it is because you have moved very far from the proximity of the crash site. Just doesn't happen tonight. Hmm. Ooh, I think I think if anyone were listening, the 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 hmm. kind of hum of like the how would you describe it? If you like, it's wind, but if you listen closer, it's screams. Uh, it's it's, it, it's like white noise. It's your white noise, yeah. Yeah, I think if anyone was paying attention, the white noise would kind of, rather than being like windy white noise, it would turn into like seashell to your ear, white noise. Cool. Um, I'm a white noise machine. <laughs> the. Uh... <laughs> The night passes without incident, and Stunning. you guys uh, pack up and make your way deeper into the forest. Um, you notice that as you get into the forest, Anton gets very, like, twitchy, like he's checking every corner. Hmm. We are this almost woods. there. These woods are dangerous. There uh, are creatures in these woods that... We do not want to cross. Hmm. 
Can everyone roll me a perception check, please? 24. Very nice. I'm going to crease this monster's Jordans. <laughs> Dirty, <laughs> Dirty 20. Dirty 20. Doing too great on the rolls today. That's 12. Oof. Only six. Okay, well. Sad day. But hey, it's not a crit fail. Um, it is okay. Because you have um, the time guy and the, the robot guy. Uh, oh, yeah. who uh you see the shadows in the trees uh rain and you see the shadows in the trees are like moving occasionally in a very unnatural way and you also notice that the sound has gone away for this part of the forest like there's no bird song there's no animals moving for root you see i so it's silent all of a sudden <laughs> Yeah. Okay. For root, you see <laughs> at first one pair of bright blue eyes, and then two pairs. Okay. Then four pairs. And then a fifth larger pair of eyes. As you guys come into a clearing in the woods which I will reveal to the chat momentarily. Should be able to see an open space where you can drag yourselves out. Yes. <laughs> I saw that creature flying off to the side of the screen. <laughs> Shut up! You didn't see anything! <laughs> where uh, are we so... entering? Oh, I don't, have a, I don't have a token. Yeah, uh, I don't use... think any of us made tokens for this. Just use your character token. From Zero there, is here. <laughs> ah, where yes. Are we, where are we at? Uh, you are entering from down here. Noise. I am working on a gang. Apologies. I got logged out of roll 20 somehow. You are totally Classic. okay. Classic roll 20 hijinks. Verifying you are human. Uh, D DM, how long has it been silent? Um... Not very long. Uh, about, you say, matter of seconds or? Uh, a few minutes. Uh, so as we're walking, uh, just hearing the, uh, you said she saw the eyes. I didn't. So I'm just going to be. All right. So I'm just going to be. 123, 124, 125. Statistically, this quiet at this time of night, uh, potentially there is something nearby. Mm hmm. That's Especially at ominous. two and a half minutes of silence, we should have heard something. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying um, to I'm trying to drag out my uh, uh, Boz or uh, Lucretia. Move yourself into this uh, sort of quadrant here because you are you are in that two by four space. Yeah. He drag my person out. That's Saw cool. the Galnus token. I would be like, remember, you're not a tank. You're not a tank. Here we go. Neither am I. We've got two All tanks. Right. Yes. Yeah, Amelia is going to be Anton for this for this adventure. I have to pee. I'll be right back. Are we okay. initiative rolling? Yeah, go ahead and roll your initiative. Yep. 30, 20. I'm um, probably not going to roll with the macro anymore. Guys, it hates me. I'm going to take a screenshot and send it to you because apparently it didn't take mine. I don't know if you saw it. No, what was it? Um, I got a, a nat 20, but I also have a plus 10 to my initiative, so I'm going on a 30. Okay. Took a screenshot of it because I was kind of proud. <laughs> <laughs> It. I I am nondescript. <laughs> you don't want to use Queden? Oh, I suppose I could do that also. So and, uh, go ahead, go ahead and pull your initiative, please. Yes. So proud. Uh, I sent it I to. Know, uh, I don't know how to get rid of him. <laughs> Discord. That's okay. We'll we'll just use him. Excellent. 
It's 12. Okay. All right. Um, so as you guys are, uh, you enter this clearing, um, the growling and pairs of eyes that Farouk saw emerge as five Night Stalkers, including one Night Stalker Alpha, pop out of the trees. Uh oh. Um, the alpha will be marked with, um, yellow. I will call him Andrew. Okay. <laughs> All right. The standard Night Stalkers will be going on a 16. And Andrew will be going on a 16 as well. So the Night Stalkers will all move simultaneously. Okay. All right. And once... Farouk gets back, we will start this combat. Hang on, I got the perfect one-liner for this moment. Lucretia looks around at them and goes, oh, hungry eyes and slavering jaws. It's like being back in my burlesque days. <laughs> Oh, that's not right. Um... Oh. Nothing wrong with burlesque. <clears throat> and so that is actually going somewhere as soon as I, as soon as I can actually make that move because I have I have put a lot of thought into this character and how she does things. The De La Rivera family is uh, near and dear to my heart. <laughs> Very, very good. I hope one day some some uh, podcast or whatever where we'll get to meet Lucretia's descendant, Augustine. Um, looking for the uh, turn. I'm back. All right. All right. Uh, so top of the lineup is Raynan. With thirty? Yeah, I net twenty, then I have a plus ten to initiative. Wow. <laughs> um. Looking around, oh, this is, uh, I think I could buy us some time. And I'll just kind of open up a uh, an hourglass you see hiding around my thing. Take out a few grains of sand and and blow it towards um, Bluey, I guess, over there on the left. And I need okay. a uh, DC-18 uh, int check against it. Okay. What are you casting? I am casting a uh, mind sliver. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Are these are my... these actual lions? What, what, no, what these the... are night stalkers. Night. Oh. <clears throat> um. Okay. Uh, nope, it nat one, and it has a negative three, so that's a negative two. Okay, uh, <laughs> let me roll my, uh, 2d6 plus one. Oh, that's crap. All right, that's going to be seven, uh, because of the plus one. And the that sand grain's going to kind of fly around its head, and then just jut into its ear, and then, ah, uh, oh, just a little, couple of her memories of your cub days that should make things a little more difficult and just a uh, heads up it'll be the um 1d4 subtracted from the next uh saving throw before gotcha. the end of my next All right turn. that will bring us to fruit unless you want to move uh I'm... oh 
Whoops. Uh, yeah, now I'm going to stay where I am. I didn't roll initiative for, uh... The gentleman. Uh, it's still it's still going to be your turn, Fruit. But this guy also gets to go. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to wander up to... You attempted at blue, right? So I'll go ahead and wander up to the same one. You just kind of see me like... <laughs> <laughs> it's almost it's almost like I don't even register that we're in combat. I, I move without any like sense of urgency or anything, but I just kind of rants on over. So I go, oh, I always forget how you do that. Okay. Um, so I go right by here. All right. Um, and now that I'm in this boy's face, uh, I'm going to go ahead and rage. Okay. Bow, bow, bow. Creasing Jordans. Creasing Jordans. Okay, <laughs> and um, so I'm a Storm Herald. With that, I have a Storm Era. So when I start my rage, a creature of your choice in your aura, which there's only one, it's Mr. Blue, has to make a deck save. Okay. So it is uh, 19 minus D4. So hold on just one second. Uh, so it is 16. Ah, it saves. That's okay. It takes half damage. Did it get its okay. um its uh D uh one D four? Yeah it did. Oh. It I took the D four. It, it it rolled a nineteen and then I took D it took a D four was three off. Okay. So it takes four lightning damage or four whatever damage. I think it's lightning. Yes, lightning. It takes four That's lightning like, damage. If, if you want to be the most thematic, it's lightning. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I have more of the sea. Um, so it takes four lightning damage just from me going into my rage. You kind of see, um, you know, I square up to this night stalker. Um, and I think you all see kind of this electricity kind of build towards my feet. Um, and then it, when it arcs off, it doesn't look like typical lightning. It looks like almost like solar flares or comets or different things like that like it's very like it strikes out and it's and it looks like different types of space events um and so it kind of gets smacked by like a like a ray that kind of looks like a comet that whizzes past its mane um and then i take this big anchor that's affixed to my back and i smack the shit out of this guy i think all right. That's probably what I'll do. Sounds good. Uh, I now also have resistance to lightning. Okay. Yes, I smack. Do it. Um, I don't have any shield or anything, so I get the full versatile out of it that's an 18 to hit that'll hit okay it's 14 bludgeoning nice uh then... plus an additional two so it's 16 because you're raging oh wow well actually you're level 10 it might be more than that does it i'm surprised that doesn't auto calculate in huh yeah, you'd think it would. You can have been um, You are level 10. Your rage damage is plus 3, so it's 17 damage. Nice! Mm -hmm. Cool. Plus 3 melee damage with strength weapons. Yeah, okay, interesting. That's weird. That's yeah, just... super weird. <laughs> the does number that, of times... Does that do it? Where... Oh my god. No, that's a d20. That's so strange. Okay, never mind. Yeah, well, that was your second attack, which is an at 20, so... No. Nice. Was... Oh, was that an attack? That I, I mean, just rolled? You, you clicked rage, but... Interesting. You have another well, yeah, attack, and I'll, it... 
I'll honor the nat 20. Will you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, well, I'm looking at the sheet on Dandy Beyond, and there's like a roll option next to the plus three melee damage with strength weapons. So I was like, oh, I wonder if that auto calculates it. So with a nat 20, it is okay. 17 plus 2d10 because of your brutal critical. Okay. New class, who dis? <laughs> So yeah, roll 2d10 and add 17, and you might just kill this man. 11? Not, not quite, because that's... Plus 17, so 28. 28 total. That's still a ton of damage. This this Night Stalker is looking tough, but he is still around. Cool. Um, And then... <laughs> they are new to these classes. Xander, this is a one-shot. I am. I haven't played a Barbarian in truly, I think, five years. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't know what a Dungeons and Dragons is. I most of the time I don't. Okay, I want to say that's that's about it for me. I've done my attacks. I got my two attacks. I raged. I crit. I came. I conquered. Yeah, all right. that's all for me. Um, y'all just see y'all just see me just have a fucking personal beef with this Night Stalker man. <laughs> y'all watch me go over to it and just get. <laughs> Angry. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, dear. So Anton uh, looks over and he sees you like squaring off with this Night Stalker and he sees that it is weak and he says, I am a hunter of these beasts. I will I will mount its head on my wall and he reaches back in his cart um, and he grabs one of the bags that you guys hadn't seen before and he pulls out something and he locks it into his shoulder and you all hear this really loud report. I don't think any of you have ever seen a rifle before, but he just fires off a shot at this Night Stalker. Um, which will be an 18 that will hit. Um, for 7 damage. All right. Uh, so first shot, uh, the Night Stalker's looking really bad. He reloads and fires again. And his gun, you hear, Oomph! and you see um, the firing pin has got stuck, gotten stuck as it misfires. And he's, no, no, no. and he starts to, like, uh, fix his weapon. But it is, unfortunately, the end of his turn now. So that will bring us to the Night Stalker Alpha. Um, the Night Stalker Alpha vanishes into shadow and pops up right here. Uh-huh. <clears throat> Um, and it is going to make a rend attack against Raynan. Um, I a believe attack. I believe that that will miss, but I will check anyway. Does a fifteen hit you, Raynan? No, it does not. Okay, it will try again. Does a sixteen hit you? No, it does not. Okay. Nice. Um, then that will be the end of the Alpha's turn. Uh, it is now the rest of the pack. So this one is also going to uh, teleport to here. And it is going to take a swipe at um, Barret. Harut. Harut. Um, Harut, does a 22 hit you? Sure does. Okay. So that will be 20 piercing damage reduced to 10 because you are raging. Okay. And I need you to make a strength saving throw. Okay. The 13? Um, so as this Night Stalker sort of jumps out of the ether, it grabs onto you for root and uh, like bites into your shoulder and pulls Ooh. you to the ground. Ah, you are now prone, boom. and it is going to bite you again. Okay. Because that is an ability that it has. Uh, but it will not want that attack. Okay. Um, The one that you've been beating well, up would, on... Well, it would have advantage, yeah. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you for your honesty. Of course. All right. Uh, so that is the opposite of that, um, which is what? a nat 1 and a nat 20. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Silver dubs. Silver dubs. Okay, so I just reroll. Uh, no, I'm taking away the advantage and giving it to someone else. 
um, is, I believe, what Silvery Barbs is for. Is that how Silvery Barbs works? Do not believe that is how Silvery Barbs works. Um, it must re-roll. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah. Which it would have to do anyway. So I would say save your, save your re-roll okay. because it's a 1 and a 20, which, you know, as you know, in my game means... Ah, that's re-roll. true. Yeah, you're right. Um, so let me just... So save your Silvery Barbs for now. Um, 19 to hit. That hits. Okay. Now do you do you want a silvery barbs? Uh, well, I was worried about the crit, but um, okay. I I well, can take I can take quite a bit of damage. So yeah, I'm, but I'm okay. the, my concern was the crit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then that is seventeen piercing reduced to eight. Nice. <clears throat> um. All right. Now Bluey, the one you guys have been beating up on. Um. I don't, I don't like that we're calling it Bluey. <laughs> is going Bluey. to teleport away to here. And Freaking it is going ridiculous. to take. It is going to attempt to take its vengeance mm-hmm. on Rain Man. Uh, does a twenty hit you? What did that movie do to him? You talking to me? No, Rainin. Does a twenty? Oh, hit you? Okay. Four, my dear. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I was deal. I had a problem. Go ahead. You're good. 20. 20. Does that hit? Um, damn. Um, a 20, <laughs> a 20 will hit. Um, however, um, I will just, uh, is this, uh, wait, which one's hitting me? Blue. The fuck? Gotta reach that son of a... Um, okay, so as It's it, right next to you. As it, yeah, I know. It took me a second to realize how big it was. Um, I'm gonna turn around and as it's about to hit me, I'll just... As its claws coming in, I'll just say, no, move my hands, and then just kind of take my hand like this, and I'll just start moving it counterclockwise as I cast, uh, you said, uh, what was it, a 22? A 20. A 20, yeah. So then I'll just move my hand cl- uh, um, clockwise, and I'll use shield, but instead of like seeing a sheen of like thing, you just watch him go, and he moves faster. Like, he just kind of avoids it. Okay. Um, so, green is going to teleport to here and is going to attempt to... Um, bite at the Barbarian. Uh, 24. I'm assuming hits. So, that is... Uh, 10 piercing damage to you for root, reduced to 5. We have two barbarians, so you have to specify. Yes. Sorry. You're fine. I forgot. It does hit. No, you're fine. Um, so that's 10 reduced to 5. Okay. And then it will get its second attack. Uh, which is a 15 to hit. Does not hit. Okay. And then orange is going to follow its alpha. And it is going to go... Where is it going to go? Uh, it's going to go here, which is technically off the map, so I'll just extend the map a little bit further. Uh, the, world, all... the world is The world is only growing. <laughs> ah! The um, fog of war. <laughs> and it actually um, reaches past you. Uh, well, actually, since I expanded it, I'll just move him down here. Because <laughs> he wouldn't want to reach past someone to do this. Um... And he is going to attempt to hit um, Creature Man. Uh, creature, uh, Raynan. Creature Man? What? <laughs> uh, Raynan, does a 26 get through your shield? Um, seeing it come in, uh, I didn't think I was going to actually have to use it um, so quickly. A 26 seems a little uh, bad. Uh, give me two seconds. I have to get to the thing. Um, I don't think there's anything you can do. You've already used your reaction this turn. To cast. Oh shield. yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat it. All right. Well, so that is 19 piercing damage. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm eating that. No, actually, I will. No, no, I, I, I should have spoke up. Never mind. Never mind. Go ahead. Um, that is 19 that. piercing damage, and I need you to make a strength save. Oh, that's not gonna be good. Seventeen. That is enough. You are not knocked prone. Oh, good. 
Um, and that will be the end of the Shadow Soccer's turn. So, skim it. Hello. I would like to, um... Well, we're going to give this a new Great Axe for a spin, aren't we? Uh, and... Yeah, I'm going to take her out, give her a couple of, like, twirls. Um, so, well... Might as well, and um, I'm going to like go in for uh, go into a rage, and you see like what starts out as like a reet, just like evol- like as as I rage and as like my my tiny little tusks, which previously just like peeked out of my lips, just like grow like a foot in size, <laughs> uh, and I I give out like a little which turn which like morphs into a. Like as I as I sounds. continue the rage, um, and <laughs> angry pig noises, and uh, very very angry pig noises. Uh, and <laughs> I look a lot more monstrous than I used to, uh, and we're gonna give this uh, we're gonna give this a shot here. All right, all right. Um, I'm using all digital dice today, and I'm not liking it, y'all. That's a fourteen. Ah, uh, that will not hit. Yep, alright. I'm gonna use a physical dice now. That's a good idea. Yep. Alright, that's... And are you attacking blue? Uh, yeah, the one that's right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's a 13 plus 8 is like a 23. It's a 21, but 21. yes, that still hits. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, let's go! Alright, uh... <laughs> cool. So that is a d12 plus that. It's a d12 plus strength plus one plus three. Right. Uh huh. D12 so plus strength plus four. Plus four d12 plus I'm not, eight. I'm not actually going to make you do math that has three health left. So, yeah. uh, how yeah, do you let's take out this go. Nice cool. <laughs> uh, can I, like, Can I just okay? He's like on all fours, like crouching at me right now. Mm-hmm. Can I just like, um, and he's already he looks like really like bloody, really and, messed and, up, yeah. yeah, and really messed up already. All right, I just want to like get real close and like make eye contact with him and just like use the butt of the great axe to just like, like get right under his chin and just like boom, uh. And just like flip him upside down. I'll give that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, All right. And then I've got fifty feet of movement. So. Um. I, should I go, yeah, you've got two of them, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna move over by, uh, uh, Farouk here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll put myself right here. Okay. Scaring up. Bad news for you, that's Uh-oh. two attacks of opportunity. What, uh, what for why? Uh one from this one I was... who was right next to you. you were here. What? I was Oh, I, I don't see where his Okay. Okay, hold uh he takes up a three by three square. They both do. I and they have a ten foot reach. See it now. <laughs> what but then how is the second one? Because I can arc around it. Has, it, with... it has a ten foot reach. It's a ten foot reach. Yes. Okay, <laughs> and I can't. Can I? Can't. Uh, okay, so I mean, you're a barbarian. You can probably take some damage. I'm just letting yeah. you know that it will happen. I'm. I'll take one attack of opportunity. Can I not still arc around this guy with 50 feet of movement and still end up by this? You will have to exit his 10 foot square. So oh, and right, because I'm within two yeah. 10 feet squares right now. Mm-hmm. All right. Well. Uh, fucking, I'll take some damage. We'll, we'll okay. Miss. 
All right, so the Bad first choice, one. Maybe. Who cares? The first one is uh, going to swing. Thankfully, neither one of them gets advantage because of the way that you're moving. Great. Uh, so the first one will be a 19 to hit. Uh, that will do, yeah. Okay, so that is 18 piercing, reduced to 9. I'm so chilling. And the second one is even higher, which is 19 piercing, reduced to 9. Heck yeah. Okay. Barbarians, man. It's so hard to kill. Yeah. Alright, but now, now you can move freely. Cool. Uh, I just want to end up next to this Okay. Guy. Sounds good. And that will uh, round us out with Lucretia. Well, considering these things can teleport, they get uh, by one of the tricks I wanted to use. So instead, uh, I'm going to... And if I do... Yeah, because that hurts friend and foe, so that's not a good idea. I'm going to cast Bane. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Bane. All right. On oh, which one? Yellow or uh, yellow is the. Uh, I get three targets. Oh, okay. I will do all of them that are, but only three are within my range. Okay. Uh, uh, so basically, everyone except green must make a, a charisma save. Okay. Um, orange That's probably will fail. Yellow will fail. So the alpha has failed. Orange has failed, and red will also fail. All right, so they all take um, minus D4 to attacks and saving throws. Okay, for how long? Uh, I'm up to a minute, or I okay. lose concentration. All right, 10 rounds, gotcha. Okay, they um, are banged. And, two, and for the performance purposes, Lucretia will draw her sword, <laughs> lick the edge of it, and spit in Alpha's face, and then somehow the, the spit splits in three and hits the other two as well. Okay. Uh, they I start had to, enough of your love. They start to paw at their nose. Um, <laughs> and that will bring us to the top of the lineup with Raynan. All right. Um, are any of the ones that hit me nearby? Uh... Yes. And they have minus four to saving throws. <laughs> Orange is the one that hit you. Ah, oh, minus four to saving throws. Oh. Is it minus four or minus D4? Minus D4, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, it's not as, not as great. A four as is involved, four. but... That's really... Uh... Did we kill any yet or no? Yeah, you killed one. Uh, you skim and... Uh, flipped one over with his axe. Okay, well that's a that's a good time. Um, I'm actually just a little bit pissed off right now, um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna just lightly start putting my hands together and start just kind of crafting. It looks almost like a cog, and just go. Ah, sometimes you just need a little bit of heat, and then a cog will form out of fire as I just push it right towards the orange one, and I cast a little fire bolt, and that's gonna be a. Well, that's not what I want. You have to... disadvantage because you're in melee with it. Okay, that's probably not going to... No, it really didn't matter. Um, it went from a 29 to a 26. <laughs> okay. And That'll... damage uh, oh, yeah. will be... Where's my D10? It's going to be 8 plus 7 plus 1. So, 16 fire damage. Okay. Why is it plus 7? It isn't plus 7, it's plus 1. 8, oh, it's so 2d10, 8 plus 7 plus the 1 from my... Uh, I understand. Now I understand. I mean, but no, let's let's replace that one. I like your idea of the plus eight. No, that's good. Let's do that one. Um. All right, it has taken its sixteen damage. And then I'll just start focusing uh, inward, trying to steal myself. 
All right. Um, Farouk, you are on your boot. I sure am. <laughs> Oh. Standing is movement. Half Standing is movement. Yes. Standing is movement. I always, in my brain, I always think it's bonus action. Nah. Yes, move. I stand. <laughs> okay. And as I stand, I stomp one foot on the ground, angry, and it re really kind of sparks the charge of my aura. And okay. the two Night Stalkers. In my aura's range, need to make a deck save. All right, I will roll green first because it's not baned. Uh, green rolled a nine, which is definitely not going to succeed. Fails. And red rolled eleven. Fails. Nice. So they. T I'll just roll the damage for both, and they can apply to both if you don't mind that. That works for me. Okay. It is in fact preferred that way. Excellent. That is seven lightning damage. All right. Uh, they both take seven lightning damage and seem not happy about it. Okay. And one of them in particular is Baned. Red. Yes. Red is so Baned. I'm going to focus oh, on... I'm going to... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to focus on him. Oh, no. A red lion. Um, I'm going to focus on him then. Okay. Still in my rage. I attack... Get him. Um, has the party been injured? Yes. And if so, how much? Um, 16. Have, yeah, Raiden took a pretty big hit. Okay. And then I think uh, Skimmons took some damage too. I think he took 16 as well. Gotcha. Um, then I would like to attack recklessly. Okay. I will be back in just one moment. Or does Bane give me advantage? No, it gives them disadvantage. It subtracts D D4 from their attacks and their saving throws. Right, 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 right. Okay, then yes. So I'd like to reckless attack okay. at Mr. Red. All right. Uh, hit cha. 27 right. to hit. That'll hit. Stunning. Oh, well, I have advantage. Hold on. Yeah, see if you, see if you 20 it. One of these days, you have to play a monk just for that, the use of stunning as an adjective. I did not. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. It's still hit. Fantastic. So there's that Damaru. So D10 plus four plus an additional three. So yeah. 11. Nice. There's two. Yeah. I just love the idea of Farouk just caulking people with an anchor. Yeah. <laughs> It's really solid. <laughs> ah, and it then, uh, <laughs> thing. Um, and then I attack one more time. Reckless right. only applies on first, or uh, do reckless, reckless through the whole until your next turn. turn. Fantastic. Yeah. So, roll with advantage. Cha cha cha. Twenty three to hit. That'll hit. And I do some more dammy. Another four, so eight damage, and then you said plus three. Yeah, from... so eleven total. Nice. Nice. Yeah, you have done some pretty good damage to that one. I just bonk, <laughs> bonk. Um, okay, so it is Anton's turn. He is going to uh... what is he going to do? Uh, my... oh, real quick before his turn. Um, how far would I have to go to be considered as exiting threat for a um attack against myself? Uh, so they take up a three by three square, and they have a ten foot reach. So this is so I could go. You here? could go there. Okay. Uh, yes. Yes. Excellent. I'd like to move. Threat. Excellent. I would like to move here and kind of stand with my anchor as a wall. Okay. Of like a focus on me, focus on me. You can't get um, past me to go to them kind of thing. Anton is going to, because they've already used their action, he's going to uh, walk out of combat with this guy so that he can take a shot at Red. Oh, nice. 
Uh, he hits this time for 15 damage. And then he takes a second shot. And he hits again. For Not a loud weapon. <laughs> max damage, 17. Uh, that Night Stalker is looking tough. Um, and it is now the Alpha's turn. Um, the Alpha is going to actually take a swing at Lucretia this time. So it rolls its attack and then subtracts it if that misses. Um, and it is going to take its second attack. Still probably misses, but want to find out, just in case. Five plus... Uh, does a 15 hit you, Lucretia? That will hit me. Okay. Uh, so that will be... 18 piercing damage. Um, and then Orange is going to teleport to here and attempt to attack Skimmond. Uh, Skimmond does a 24 hit. Does a 20, yes. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to be sassy. I realized after no, like, oh, no, that was I, I didn't mean to be sassy. You didn't. Um, you're doing your job. So that is. Oh God, that is. I was just. Uh, I, that was more shell shock for yeah, me than in that is sass. Apologies. Maximum damage. So that is twenty two damage reduced to eleven. Okay. And I need you to roll a strength save. I will. Um. No. Uh, I should have said it for him, but... I am now at the health that I'm in during our actual real campaign, so I'm chilling. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Uh, um, strength save, please. Strength save, understood. <laughs> I'm pu I'm never rolling with digital dice again. It's a 16. That's enough. Oh, thank God. Okay. Do not fall prone. That's um, good. Yeah, that's that's very good. Okay. Um, Red like is going eight. to teleport to here. And um, also looking bad, but sort of trying to take someone with it, is going to make its attacks against Lucretia. Um, so that is minus a d4. Uh, that'll hit. Uh, do you want to use your silvery barbs? Yes. Okay. Um, so that will miss. Who do you want to give the advantage to? Um, who's up next? Um, I will give it to. <clears throat> I will give it to my darling boy, Skimming Darling. Mm. You enjoy a lovely advantage on your next tag, darling. I appreciate you so much. And then Green is also going to teleport to here. And is going to take a swipe at um, Raiden. Uh, that will be a 25. Um, no, that's a, that's a negative there, Ghost Rider. Um, <laughs> as it's coming in and pouncing, I'm going to just quickly just go... No. And then so instead of then instead of going like this, I'll just start going counterclockwise moving my hands. And I will use uh my class feature um chronal shift as a reaction after you or a creature you can see within 30 feet makes that attack roll um or whatever have you. Uh they must uh roll again. Okay. Thunderclap uh, hurts my friends too, right? Yes. Yeah, Eighteen. Oh, still gonna hit. Shouldn't have wasted it. I. It's not a waste. It... <laughs> Same result. <laughs> but you couldn't have known that. 
I it could have gone badly. Uh, I'm not so that, that lucky. That will be uh, 15 piercing damage, and I need you to roll a strength save. All right. Um, yeah, it's going to be a 10. Okay. Uh, you are pulled out of the cart and to the ground, and it is going to attempt to bite you again. Yep. You are prone. Yep. Uh, that will hit for 15 more damage. All right. And that will bring us to Skimmit. Well... <clears throat> I'm gonna, I think I'm feeling feral. I think I'm gonna, what, what happened if bite a Night Stalker? We're gonna find out. And you get advantage. And I get advantage. You do. Bite, 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 bite. Nice, okay. Plus nine, plus advantage. That's uh, a 15 plus nine. So that'll hit. Yeah. Cool. So that's the first attack. Okay. What is what is and your I bite rolled damage? Another, I rolled a, another 15. Okay, so my bite is... It's a D8. A D8 plus 8. Yeah, okay. That is a 7 plus 8. So 15? 15 on the first attack. And the second attack hit as well, so that is a 6 plus 8, which is 14. All right. Which is a uh, yeah, six. that, that night nice soccer looks tough. Yeah, uh, I just... I... <laughs> in keeping honest, I have to do a uh, concentration check on Bane, right? Yes. And wh how much is that? Uh, it's... Ten or half of the damage you took, whichever is higher. Ten. Okay. I have a uh, Warcaster, so I believe I have advantage on this. Yes. Yes. Oh, um, also, uh, Skimmed, because of your infectious fear. Right, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. um, you hit a creature with your natural weapon. Yeah. And if you'd like, you can curse it. To make right. it take more damage. I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's. Would you do like that. to curse it? Y okay. Yes. All right. Um, it three. needs to make a wisdom save with a Two minus d four. Uh, it's gonna fail the wisdom save, so it's gonna go ahead and take that 2d12 psychic damage. Fuck yeah, dude. So what you guys basically see is. Skimmed like tusks this thing and it starts clawing at itself. Alright. So how much uh how much psychic damage? Oh, I roll that. Okay. Yes. It's your attack. Yeah, sorry. Hey, it's a twelve and a ten, baby. Physical dice are on my side. Jeez. That's twenty-two. Yeah, um... Holy shit, that's, that's a lot of... Uh, I tear flesh. This, uh, this stalker starts to, like, tear into itself, and it just lays down, and it's done. <laughs> Dude, I fucking wasted one of them. In what, that's fucking awesome. Good hell, lord. Hell yeah, dude. <clears throat> Alright, uh, cool. <laughs> Do you want to move? You, uh, you're killing yeah. the creatures. Absolutely. Yeah. No. I'm. Fuck, I'm gonna take another bite, baby. You can take well, another bite. you you took your two bite attacks. No, I I'm aware. In a, in a moment, I will. In, yeah. In, uh, okay. In a few seconds of it. Lucretia. This is why you don't mess with wild boars, friends. <laughs> um, I am just absolutely. Like, I'm... Lucretia's doing calculations in her head of the fact that there are three. Mm -hmm. And Red, Red, by the way, is super injured. Okay. She looks at um, Renan and he goes, 
All right, darling, I have two options right now. I can get the both of us well away from both from these things. I don't know if our employer that would look uh, kind of on that, as I cannot reach him and therefore cannot bring him with us. Or I can inflict some unholy damage. Uh, which you, which would you prefer? That has been more than a six-second conversation. I'll just say, do the damage. I haven't moved. <laughs> do damage? the damage. Oh, well, 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 well. I will vicious mockery the uh, the red one. Okay. How dare you lay piles on me? Is that a wisdom save? That is, in fact, a wisdom save. All right. Uh, fail. All right. That is eight psychic damage. All right. Um, so as you say that, the Night Stalker kind of reels back, and you can see, like, the sort of dark Night Stalker blood leaking out of its nose. And then it just, like, starts to paw at the air, and it <clears throat> slumps over. I look over at Andrew, the alpha, and say, Now you take note before you put a hand on me again, boy. And that'll bring us to Raven. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm doing math. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing many, many math. Um, let's bring up the map. Uh, does yellow or green look damaged at all? Uh, green's taking some damage. You uh, you hit it with that firebolt. Uh... Yellow is still baned. Yes. I've got a bad idea. It's only a bad idea if it doesn't work. <laughs> and bad... even then, sometimes not quite. It's a bad idea. Do it anyway. Ah, uh, all right. So I'm going to need um, about 20 feet. Okay, so I'm going to um, just start summoning it up and uh, just be like, you know the best part about clocks? Math. And I just hurl a fireball. Right outside of range, so it can hit my two buddy motherfuckers right here. Okay. Um, I'm casting it at a fifth level. Okay. <laughs> so that's oh, gonna... classic wizard. What's that? That's an old classic wizard. I do love the suit. So uh, the alpha probably still succeeds with an eighteen. Is that with the minus from Bane? Uh, my 18, yes. yeah, it's, right. uh, uh, let me see here. Um, Actually, yeah, the uh, the check is an 18. Okay, meets beats. So the alpha succeeds on its save. Uh, and green also succeeds. Oh, damn, son of a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> they rolled really high. Well, you're going to say they're still going to take half as much. Yeah, so I know. I'm going to roll but... these. Um, you know what? It's one time I'm actually just going to click on the damn number. Uh, hopefully it actually. I'm honestly as surprised as you that they both passed their save. All right. Uh, the fire damage is a 45. Okay. So they will take. 23? 22. 22. 22. All right. They did not enjoy that. No, I doubt they would. And we'll probably have something to say to you about it. Oh no, I'm pretty sure they're going to be. Uh, there's going to be some, <laughs> some some not so subtle words. Uh, did you stand up, by the way? What's because <laughs> you were on the ground? Yes, I would have stood up. <laughs> okay. Uh, true. I'm not an idiot. Yes. We continue to do as we have done, but now over here, I move. 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, I can't. I move here? Question. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Here. Yeah. Bonus action. Make a deck say. Okay. Um, alpha fails. Okay. Not alpha nat 20s. Okay. 
they will take failed takes seven and saved takes half okay whether you round up or down is remember and remember nat 20 is on saves uh players and monsters nothing oh excellent yeah very good but that's good for you guys to know as well when you have to be making saves if you nat 20 a save it negates the effect fantastic <clears throat> um great that is not a DD rule but it is a rule that makes sense to me i know it's cool <laughs> i like it um i hit that's what <laughs> i do i pooch i right, take do you a want to hit green I... who is slightly more damaged or the alpha it's <sighs> a great question mm. i'll focus on green okay I whack. All right. 21 to hit. That'll do it. Bam. I whack again. That is 17 damage. Okay. Whack again. 22 to hit. That's a hit. Bonk. <laughs> that is 18 damage. Yeah. All right. It is not quite dead, but it is on its last legs. I growl at it. All right, it is growled in the, in a way that a ship can. <laughs> I, I make a I make a weird blow noise like a doo -doo. not eighteen. I'm insane. I'm sorry. Fifteen. No, you're totally fine. It's still very damaged. Um, Indeed. All right. Um, Anton is going to take two shots. He's I think the take... storm around me is lessening. His first shot at green uh, will hit. His minimum damage is enough to kill it, so he uh, puts a bullet between its eyes, and then he takes a shot at the alpha. Uh, and misses. Uh, it is now the alpha's turn. The alpha vanishes, deciding that you are no longer worth the effort. Oh. Anton uh, runs back and says, "Is everyone all right? Are you all? Are you uh, mostly uninjured?" Oh, that's certainly a term for it. <clears throat> not feeling great, but I mean, you have short rest, perhaps. Not you have the potions. Yes, you have potions. You want me to just go like, <laughs> and just I and as my head is finished shaking. I, I look uh, ever so slightly more baby face. We have time, I think, for a very short rest, but I would like to get to the castle before nightfall. I don't want her to have to stay there any longer than possible. The the greater is a two d four plus eight. Correct. And you are gonna you are gonna get the benefit of a short rest. And while we are doing that, I think this is a good time for a break. When last we left our brave heroes, they had fended off a pack of Night Stalkers, the Alpha leaving to lick its wounds with the dead corpses of its family around it. And our party had time for a short rest, but Antoine, the man who hired them, told them that they did not have time for a full rest as he wanted to reach the castle by nightfall. I will say that uh, once I've healed myself up from the short rest, I am going to just run my hand over and use mend, and you'll just see all the stitches just start, just, like kind of just rewinding as it's no damage. All right. <sighs> so, <coughs> as he's doing that, she, uh, Lucretia looks at like. Her torn sleeve. She, I'm running down, and I'm gonna have to talk dry cleaning when this is over. Uh, at that statement, I will first use uh, mend to stitch up, and then I'll okay, use press the digitation to remove the dirt. You are a gem, sweetheart. <laughs> All right. Um, okay, thank you. Antoine has been kind of like nervously pacing back and forth as you guys have been, you know, healing, taking your potions. Um, eh. And when he sees that you're ready, he uh, jumps into the cart and sort of 
picks the horses, um, who luckily were not attacked by the Night Stalkers. Very nice. Um, and you guys um, are able to reach a what appears to be a large manor house. Um, you can hear the sounds of the ocean crashing long before you arrive there. It takes you probably another four hours to reach the chateau. Um, but about two hours in, you start to hear the sounds of waves crashing and... You reach the chateau as the sun is about to fall behind the horizon, so it gives it this nice, like, amber glow backlighting it. Um, the chateau looks old and worn down. It looks like it's been here for a very long time. And you can see behind, uh, behind the chateau sort of the schism of where the continent ends. And it's hundreds of feet down, and you can hear waves crashing on rocks below. Um... Renan, you get a quick future vision of a satyr falling out of a window and crashing to the ground. <laughs> As I see that, I'll oh, just go. Know. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just turn and just. Someone will die here. Um, and I say that to the group. Someone will <laughs> die here. Sure, we're gonna need a little more elaboration than that. Oh, um. Either in the past or in the future, um, a young lady um, with uh, horns uh, falls to her death. Um, let me. Well, at least well, unless it gets some truly intriguing <laughs> head games, we should. Be let me pop you over to the Beast's Castle. I'm actually going to turn to um, uh, the official. Turn to um, Anton. Uh, your lady friend doesn't have horns, does she? Uh, no, she is, uh... Oh, well, that, like... uh, that uh, definitely uh, uh, takes a great deal load off my mind. <coughs> um, is the map blurry to anybody else? Not really. No. We're chilling. You have to, like, zoom out. out and then zoom back in. Thank you. Nice. So uh, you guys That's are down it. here at the sort of entry hall, and you can see um, there is kind of like overgrown, like there used to be like maybe a name of who lived here, but it's covered in vines. Um, the house looks like it hasn't, like it looks very similar to the way Farouk looks. Nature has reclaimed this home. Oh. Cool. We are twins, you and I. Yes, we are. No, is, is, there, is there any way I can... Uh, and then we dance. <laughs> we, weirdly, uh, can I do a history check to see if I can decipher how old this place is? Yes, go for it. It's a 13 plus 9. 22. Uh, this house looks like it was built during um, the basically the Age of Enlightenment, which would have been prior to the crash, prior to the incursion. So it is old. Um, then I will I will just touch it and just start scratching away at it. Ooh, this is this is ancient. Age of Enlightenment at least. Very nice. Um when you touch the stone, uh, it feels cool to your hand. Um but you notice that even where nature has reclaimed it, the edges are perfect. Um, and you realize that this this rock was hewn from the like from the crags of the Mother Hearth herself. So this was probably built by one of the first smiths. Oh, I'll pass that information along and be like, oh, it's probably created by one of the first ones. <laughs> it would explain why it's going to be. Uh... So the question is, when I saw the lady uh, fall to her death, was it overgrown like this? Um. When you saw that, it actually didn't look like this castle. Okay. It so. seems like the fall was related to the rocks at the bottom, not the castle itself. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I wonder how this will hold up. Um, Anton is at the door, and he starts pounding on it. Give her back! Give her back, you monster! 
And then he hits it one time and then this big heavy wooden door creaks open. Um, Lucretia's actually going to uh, answer on Donna now. I am aware you are very emotionally invested in this rescue, but perhaps it would behoove us not to be overly hostile at the onset. If there is a diplomatic solution that can be reached, it would be, shall we say, prudent to at least try. T time, time is important. We can take the time to discuss what kind of creature this is. Do we know a weakness? Do we know its its form? Do we know what it's capable of? We can take well, we a minute know that it's... to discuss um, that. Anton does not listen and barges through the door. Ah, <laughs> we have no time. Thus, most of our <laughs> future has been determined. This is wonderful. <laughs> Well, at the very least, our path has been determined. Let us see about stepping down it or oh, finding be, an alternative. Be mindful. His path has been determined. Ours is still being bound together and winded. Yes, how do you feel about free will, Renan? I believe that you have it. There's a exponential <laughs> number of outcomes for each second and tick of the clock hmm. it's just as we take moments and as we take time to make an action it just further ingrains the paths that are available to us and drops away the ones that aren't as you see and Anton that busting the door dropped yeah. many outcomes from our potential futures on that note we should probably follow on but I make sure he doesn't get into anything we can't undo and Lucretia will follow him in. As you go in, I'll say, I don't need to see the future to know that his actions are going to bode ill for us, but let's go. It sounds fun. I'll walk in behind Lucretia. <clears throat> okay. Um, so you guys make your way through this sort of entryway. Uh, which is sort of just like a coat room. Um, also looks run down. Uh, you pass through a kitchen. Um, you can see that there is sort of a like a dungeon to the side of the kitchen. Um, well, I've played venues like this before. <laughs> the kitchen is in surprisingly good shape, though. Like, it, it's, you know, it's dusty, but it seems like the stove has been used recently. Um, and the smell in here is actually really delicious. It seems like whoever was cooking here knew how to cook and cooked well. <laughs> As you make your way into this larger throne room here, um, you see sitting on a chair in the back of the room, um, hands steepled together, what appears to be um, a large, like a very imposing, but an icier, which is... Um, for those of you who have not read the most recent lore document, uh, basically a Goliath. Um, and his hands are steepled, and you can see that he's wearing also nobleman's finery. Um, just from a quick cursory look, I won't make you roll perception, it appears like his clothing is a little tattered, but it's still very nice. Um, but now I do want a perception check. Perception. I cannot roll perception to save my life. What would I have rolled? 18. I told myself I was going to stop using Oh, that would have been much better. That is a nat one. <laughs> Farouk, perception? Yes. Oh, I said 18. No, yeah, I got yours. I'm waiting for Farouk. Oh, Farouk. She's Farouk. I, the new names am, throw me off. I'm Farouk. <laughs> and I got a 16. Okay, um, again, Farouk and Raynan just eyes on a swivel. Um, you are, notice looking are, at this. We're at the front entrance, right? Uh, you are in this room here, in the uh, checkered room. The beast with room. the throne. Okay, yes. Should we be dragging our peoples? Please do. Anytime rolls start coming out, I'm like, all right, where are we? 
Where are we? Oh um, my god. How much does my pooper hurt? So this Goliath does look, you know, like he's in he's in finery. Um and you see that like Anton is like looking around, like he's not sure what's exactly going on. Um <coughs> But um, Raynan and Farouk, with that, with those kind of high perception, you see that the left side of his face is deformed and scarred, um, and it looks like it was a birthmark, and that his mouth opens and extends almost back to his ear on his left side. Like, the left side of his face is completely mangled, and without that... He would be a very handsome man. Uh, I will call it. But uh, that has disfigured him severely. Friend, are you okay? <clears throat> you went to my castle and called me friend. Unannounced, you kill my pets. What do you want here? Begging your pardon, we were not aware they were uh, yours. To protect, protect the vague came upon us unannounced and we were forced to defend ourselves. It looks um, very violent, yes. We have, uh, we've come to this place in search of a lady who uh, apparently was brought here. Uh, we are here to ascertain her whereabouts, her well-being. Hmm. Her well-being, her whereabouts... Why are you really here? And Ant Anton uh, pulls his rifle out and just, he racks it, but he doesn't bring it up. You here uh, to take her back from you, monster. <clears throat> we, are, we are here to ascertain if she was taken against her will. And if so, if a reformation could be made to allow her to return home. There's a, a great deal of uh, mystery surrounding this event, and we are uh, seeking to illuminate for all parties involved, and perhaps find, and I, I pointedly look around, perhaps find a solution by which all parties may be satisfied. Reparations. <laughs> she told me about you lot. She said a band of mercenaries would be coming to take her away. Well, I won't stand for it. And as he says that, his hands grip his throne. And you hear the cracking and then th well, as his hands shatter the stone. And you hear a crack sort of in his neck. I won't let you take her from me. I won't Lord, allow it. If she wishes to stay, then perhaps other, uh, other considerations could be made. We are simply... We are simply here to, to, as I said, shed light upon the mystery of the situation. More lies. More nonsense. And he shatters the throne and he stands up and grabs it and throws it aside. And you can see that his body starts to shift and crack and he swells to a massive size. And I need all of you to roll initiative. Hell yeah. Bro. Well, I don't know. We want to roll initiative. <laughs> it, it can be reasoned with. Uh, of course, I, when I'm not boss, I roll beautiful initiative. Yeah, I know. I mean, I get a 27. <laughs> a 27? I don't know why it's not finding... Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I was realizing it's saying virtual tabletop not found. And it's because since I'm using it to broadcast on the other uh, in the other browser, I don't have a browser open, a tabletop on my... Uh, on the same uh, list. <laughs> D, D beyond. I'm sitting gotcha. going, why is this not working? I'm looking at map. So, um, uh, what did dude, everybody I else get? I that earlier. But he wasn't having it. Never mind. What did everybody else get? Oh, I got a 21. Yeah, I, I have yours. Okay. 16. I had, to, I had to click on my character. No worries. Make sure 16. I go to the trick. 16. Damn, I got a 13 with advantage, my friends. Oof. Okay. Um. 
And I had the 27. 27, okay. Oh, he's a big one. Yes, uh, he is a giant. Healthy boy! Yep. I think we need some battle music. What do you think? I think hey. he should rationally yeah. look at the situation and we all go home. Let's pour I one out for agree. our let's pour one out for our lady. <laughs> let's get this battle music back. Excellent. Hopefully, if it'll start. There we go. Oh wait, that's not that's incorrect. There we go. <clears throat> Ignore that, that was something else. Um, all right, so top of the lineup. Um, no one has taken aggressive actions yet, but one of the, somebody looks like they're going to. So you don't have to act aggressively if you do not want to, but Raynan, you are up first. Also, uh, Raiden, if you could scroll up a little on the map for Roll20's sake, or for uh, Twitch's sake, so they can see the monster. I will zoom in as well. Yeehaw. Uh, I will move back and just again say, ah, uh, friend, we don't know what our actions will cause. We came as We came to speak, and speak we want to. And I will back away. Okay. Um, Anton will take his turn. Yeah. Uh, he is unfortunately not as patient as you guys and is going to take a shot. Yeah, it sounds about right. Do we know where she's being kept? Was you do not. We don't know anything. Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, Anton's first shot will miss and his second shot will jam his gun. What a fucking He is bitch. the worst. God. <laughs> Gosh, uh, what a dullard. So that will bring us to um, Lucretia. I'm going to actually look over at him. You are hopeless, Chad. You know that. And I am going to... Um, spend a second level spell slot to cast Invisibility on myself. All right. Um... And I am going to now invisible reposition with my 40 feet of mobile movement. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And just wait to see what he does. Okay. Um, forgot your name. Sorry. Skimmed. Yes, Skimmed. Thank you. Skimmed. Hello. Skimmed is such a fun name. Thank it you. Is. I came to me. <laughs> I guess that's the end of that. Um. Okay. Big guy. All right. Uh. Okay. Roll Big boy. Calm the f down. Okay. All of my shit is like close range melee. Um, so do I have anything else? And he just attacked or tried to attack and missed? Uh, the, uh, the guy who hired you did, yeah. Right. Cool. Um, so nobody has, okay. Sorry, y'all, I was attending to some things. You're good. Uh, You're all and, good. And okay. drained out. Has anybody attacked big guy yet? Other, not anyone from your party. No. Ah. Uh, the only one who's attacked is the guy that hired you. And we're trying not to attack, or we are. It's up to you. Well, <laughs> I suppose. Okay, that's got a thirty foot range. And 15, 20, 30. So I need to move. Alright, I'll step forward a little bit. And 
Um, you see me go, uh, yeah, I mumble to myself, I say, well, money is money, uh, and I'm going to uh, enter my rage and then throw a javelin at this guy, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Heck yeah, that's 16 plus 8. That'll hit. Yeah, and that's a d6 plus 4 plus 4. Okay. Otherwise known as plus 8. That's it. Uh, you don't get range damage on a thrown weapon. Oh, Only melee attacks. Frick. <clears throat> okay. So just plus 4 is 7. Okay. And... Oh, I get two attacks, baby. All right. Um, well, I just threw my javelin. Um, so... I get two attacks, baby. And I'm gonna... All right, I don't think... I think I'm just gonna have to... try and bite this guy in the leg, I guess. I don't want to get too close, but I don't know what else I can do. You can throw another javelin. Do I got another javelin? Okay. You should have ten. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Let's do that. Because I don't want to get closer until I know what he can do. That is a nine plus eight. Is a seventeen. Ah, uh, that will actually miss. Rats. All right. Thrown and missed. All right. I guess that's my turn. All right. Fruit. You know, <coughs> I'm I am tempted to have never learned a lesson in my life and just run on up to this motherfucker. <laughs> you know what? It's worked for you in the past. <laughs> Has it? <laughs> no, you're a lot tougher than Zir. I. That's fair. Let's go for it, huh? <laughs> I mean, let's find out what he does. I'm willing to take the. I'm willing to take the blow to find more out about this man. Um, right. I will waltz up to him, similar to what I did previously. Um, kind of like not even really run or or look angry, just kind of a, a, a walk up to him as if I'm just walking up to anything. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll stare at him right in the face and I'll go, we don't need to fight. You should stop. Um, and uh, I will activate my rage. So he needs to go ahead and make a dex save. And as the lightning kind of crackles from her feet and kind of out towards him, um, she'll say, but I'll prepare for a fight if I must. <laughs> All right, uh, fail. Okay. So he takes, this is gonna be interesting. I'm gonna play a game with him. Um, he takes, the lightning damage, it is, sorry, sorry, I have to remember, 2d6, I think. Question mark. That sounds right. Yes. Great, so he takes six lightning damage. Okay. Um, And I would like to hold action. Okay. And I will only attack him if he attacks me. All right. Now, uh, question DM. <coughs> Great, this is part of the game, so it's okay if it's a no. Um, from a maintaining rage perspective, you have to either hit or be hit. Correct. Does the activation of the storm aura hitting him count as part of that hit? Yes. Interesting. Okay, well, great. And also, you would have until the end of your turn, until the rage falls off, to do something. So the turn you activate Rage, until the end of your next turn, until your end Rage of next will not turn. fall off. Oh, yeah. okay, interesting. Okay, great. Fantastic. Yeah. I didn't know uh, if the Storm Aura was part of my No, the turn you activate that Rage, you are rage. Raging that turn. Yeah. And then at the end of your next turn, if you have not taken or dealt damage, your Rage ends. 
Yes. Okay. But my question was, does the does oh, does the, the aura count? Does as the zip damage? zap count as damage for maintaining rage? I would assume no, but I wanted to clarify. <gasps> no. Great. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I want to play the game and see if he hits me. Well, it is his turn, and he's gonna try. Okay. Well, cool. Um, twenty nine to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, rage, rage maintained. Twenty three bludgeoning damage, rage, rage rage bludgeoning <laughs> oh, damage I out to eleven. Did I specify my hold action was that if he attacked me, I would attack him? Yes. From a first. Okay, great. I want to make sure that was clear. So take your eleven damage, and then you can attack him back. Eleven damage. What kind of damage was that? Bludgeoning. He just punches you in the face. Great. And eleven was already halved. Yes, it was twenty three half to eleven. Fantastic. Go. Yeah. Um, I will you give punch him a... his heart. I will give him a whack with my hammer. Okay. Or not my hammer, my, well, my hammer yeah. narratively. Your anchor. Flavor gotcha. is an anchor. Ugh, 14 to hit. That will miss. Okay. Understood. All right. And he will take his second swing. I, I kind of swing back at him and I go, see, I didn't want to fight. <laughs> uh, that is... 12 bludgeoning halved 6. Rolled very I, poorly that time. I, and then he is going to look he is going to look over his corner at over his shoulder at Skimmin and point at him and say fall. Skimmin, I need you to make a wisdom save. Okay. Fuck so hard if the, <laughs> if he just falls over. <laughs> I really need to fucking stop it with the digital dice. Did you fail? That's, yes! That's a, that's a five. I literally <laughs> just crumple. Narratively, though, that's so fun. I literally <laughs> just crumple, dude. So, Skimmin, you hear a terrible crack as both of the bones in your leg shatter. Oh! oh. You take 34 psychic damage. Okay, I'm not God. hearing anymore. That, that's, <laughs> I didn't know that's what's happening. <laughs> and you become prone. You cannot stand up for an hour. You are cursed. Ooh. You are prone for an hour. <laughs> Is that a magical effect? Yes. So, like, would dispel magic stop it? Uh, dispel magic would not stop it, but dispel magic could get rid of it. Good to know. Doing uh, well, okay. I have no because dispel magic does not remove work. curses. Yeah, Why did I not some, take greater restoration? Some holy water on this man, yeah. <laughs> We gotta, we gotta restore this, buddy. Well, yeah. what can you do from the ground? <laughs> uh, he can um, crawl actually, the can I? And can uh, I crawl and get to the bite? No, just bite the foot. I'm gonna actually. When he says fall, um, when uh, he when he does that, I'm just gonna just start going, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Time stops. And I'm going to attempt to counterspell at fourth level. Okay, uh, you cast your counterspell. It is not a spell, so the the, the ability fizzles. Oh damn! Fuck. Oh, tried. Sorry. It is a magical ability. Oh, um, sad. Give me just one second. Um, You're the DM. You can have as many seconds as you'd like. Okay, so Dispel Magic only works on spells. However, um, I will say if you use a powerful enough Dispel Magic, I will let you attempt to remove the curse with Dispel Magic. So, no, like a f fourth level spell? Uh, you don't know. Hmm. Um, you, whatever you think you need to use, and you will probably still have to roll for it. But um, for everyone in the for everyone in the chat, I know that's not how it works. I'm a roll of cool DM, and that makes sense to me. So <laughs> for everyone in the chat, fuck you. <laughs> All right, that's no. not what I, I didn't that say. Was that was aggressive. <laughs> Holy um, crap! I love you, chat. This but escalated rather turn. quickly. <laughs> that is the end of his turn, and we'll go back to Raynan. All right. Um, I just wasted something really awesome. That sucks. Um, um 
I'm gonna not make you burn that spell slot. You would have you would have known that this this ability was different than a spell. Oh, okay. so don't worry about that spell slot. Okay, I will recover it. Um, I'm not. I'm not that kind of DM, and we're not in Biting Malevolence. If we were in the actual campaign, I might be a little more of a stick. Oh, okay. This is just a one-shot for fun. <laughs> okay, um, at this point, I can't fireball because she's just too close. Um, so I'll just fire bolt. Okay. And that'll be a... 9 plus you, 18, you 19 tell... to hit. That'll hit. Do you tell Farouk to get out of the way? It's she a fire bolt. Him. Bolt, not ball. No, but I mean, if you wish to fireball in the future, would you let her know? Um, yeah, yeah, I would definitely let her know. She's very okay. interesting. I want to keep her around. Okay. It's going to be 10, and so it's going to be 18 plus 1, 19. You know, <laughs> unless you want to give me that plus 8, because that's still I'm still remembering that. Noted. Um, and then I'll just say, okay, I think it's time that we start doing something. All right. And I will he is pass. going to use his first legendary action. That's fair. He should. Um, he lifts up his hand, and uh, the door that you are standing right next to, Raynan, bursts open, and a flurry of knives, animated knives, fly out, and they attack Raynan, uh, Antoine, and Skimmond. Um, so I need deck saves from... Raynon and Antoine, I'll obviously roll Antoine's. Skimmon, unfortunately, you auto-fail. Um, Antoine will fail. Uh, 24, 19 plus 5. Sorry, right, deck, saving, deck saving. You don't have to me? make one. No, okay. No, and neither does uh, Lucretia because Lucretia is invisible. Um, so Antoine is going to take 19 piercing damage. Raynon and um, Skimmon, you will only take 9. Skimmon, you are still raging, and Raynaud, you passed your save. <laughs> I'm raging on the ground. Well, I'm fucking Um, alright. So, yes. Uh, but now there are animated knives kind of just flying around the room. Uh, and that will bring us to Antoine's turn. The ground uh, seems pretty good to me. <laughs> Antoine is going to clear the jam in his rifle and take one shot at the creature. And miss, God, you, Antoine, you, you're the worst man. He is Appreciate. garbage. <laughs> now you see why he hired you guys. Think if he tried to do this by himself. Uh, um. I'm going to do something very interesting. Okay. First off, I'm going to move within 15 feet of... <clears throat> Tall, dark, and cranky. Okay. Ah, uh, he's he's within 15 feet of you. Because he takes up all, all nine of those squares, so... Okay. Yeah, he's, he's a huge creature. And from her bodice, she draws out the single red card, red dotted card that started all of this. Flicks it, not throws it. However, in doing so, she casts Spray of Cards at third level. Spray of Cards? Spray of Cards. Oh, that must be a Cardomancer thing. That's cool. Uh, he must make a uh, dex save at 15 or take 18 force damage that I've just rolled and be blinded until my next turn. Okay. Um, um, your invisibility will fall off. Yeah, I, I know that. I, I and what, what was the save? Sorry. Dex 15. Pass. Oh, need his next turn. Okay. So he takes half of that. So he takes nine force damage. All right. So I've only taken, like, five steps. Ten steps. So I'm going to move the rest of them. Where do the knives start? Uh, they are everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to move um, closer. But they can only... Basically, if you don't move within five feet of Skimmond, you're fine. 
All right, so we yeah, you are this? outside the range of the knives there. I just need to know about Dispel Magic's range. Is it a touch? Uh, is it 120? Oh, I don't even need to move. I probably should, but... Um, yeah, where was I? I was within 15 of him. So... I'm actually just going to kind of back up a bit more. Keeping my eye on Skimmond to try that Dispel Magic. All right. Skimmond, you are up. Great. Uh, so no, I've he's down. down. <laughs> yeah, he's definitively down. Um, <coughs> I saw I saw that spray of cards and I was like, I have this spell is so cool. So I've got a thing of knives flying around me, or just yeah. flying around. Uh, it's it. You are basically in like the murder version of be our guest right now. There are just animated knives flying around. So if I try to crawl out of the space of the knives, I'm going to suffer attacks of opportunities, or...? No. Okay. They're just floating around. Okay, cool. This so... is- it is technically a lair action, so it will only happen on the, uh, initiative count 20. Understood. So, I've got 50 feet of walking halved to, what, 25? 25, 25 yes. Well, that's four, one, two, three, that's four... That's five squares. That's five uh, thank you. <clears throat> one, two... Three, four, five. Let's go. I'm going to bite that man's foot. <laughs> I'm going to bite his foot. All right. That I, is with I'm literally like crawling. I mean, <laughs> All right. So roll an attack with crawling disadvantage. Crawling along. All right. That'll be. All right. Physical dice. I need two high numbers. That's one high number. That's it. Slightly less high number. That's that's uh, gonna be a nineteen. That'll Eleven hit. plus eight. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Nicely done. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, um, that is d eight plus four. And can I curse him? Yes. Yes. Or I want to give him that extra psychic yeah. damage. Yeah. Cool. So how much damage is it? Roll him d8 now. That's... It's plus four, plus, four, plus eight? Plus yes. three. So it's plus, plus seven total. Gotcha, plus seven. So that's... That's 13 total damage. Okay. And then I'm rolling for Infectious Fury as well? Yes. Great. Um, he, will, he will make his wisdom save. Great. Oh, he will pass yeah. his wisdom save. Rats. So no damage at all or half damage? <laughs> Let me double check. I can I also have it in front of me here. Um must Infectious succeed. Fury. Must, if he succeeds, must, it's no damage, yeah. Yeah, must succeed or suffer. Yeah, you're, you're we're good. So rats. Okay. Well still half decent. Oh I get yeah. two! Oh wait, yeah, you get another I get, attack. I'm s I love Barb I love this. Okay. Ah, oh, that's a eight. Oh, with disadvantage, shit. It's a eight plus eight is sixteen. Sixteen. That will unfortunately miss. Rats. Okay. That's it. All right. Rolled my way over and bit him on the foot. That will bring us to fruit. Yes. Um. I would like to reckless attack on top of that. I would like to Oh, I I accidentally hit two people with lightning one time and I was only supposed to ever be able to hit one. Oops. That's okay. Um I think one of them missed anyways, but okay, rereading that. Um, I would like to go ahead and activate my aura again, so he's going to have to make the deck save again, DC 15. Okay. Fail. He takes nine lightning damage. Okay. And then I will recklessly <clears throat> attack at this man, because he's angered me. <laughs> That'll hit. Nice. Even though the other one was a one. 
I forget how that works. Oh, no. So I, roll, I rolled a, a net one. Thank you for 13. your honesty. Okay. Fantastic. I will go again. Advantage. It's a 17 to hit. That will hit. Heck yeah. Okay, we do five bludgeoning damage. Nicely done. Oh, Bestie doesn't do a ton of damage. <laughs> That's okay, though. Well, plus an additional uh, three for raging. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So eight total bludgeoning. Um, and I believe that's it. However, well, I was called out to that a fireball was hopefully incoming, and so I was planning on moving out of the way, but now <laughs> another person has entered the fray, <laughs> and so I may just stay where I'm at so I don't risk the attack of opportunity. Okay. Since there are two people here now. Um, yeah, so that's probably it for me. Um, all right. Uh, it is the monster's turn. Uh, he recharges his ability. And he is going to give... He just lifts both his hands in the air and brings them down. So he's going to give one attack to Farouk and one attack to Skimmond. Okay, so he gets, against he, Farouk... He gets advantage? Yes. That is a 27. Hits. For 25 bludgeoning damage, have to 12. Thank you. I love that you do math. And for <laughs> Skimmond... <laughs> so appreciated. Is, that is going to hit you, Skimmond. Uh, for 29 bludgeoning damage, halved to 14. Okay. And then uh, after that spray of cards, Lucretia, he looks at you and just yells, Neil! Lucretia, I need a wisdom save from you, please. Is this the same thing as last time? Yes. Uh, 13. Okay. Uh, there is another shatter as your bones also shatter in your legs. You are cursed, fall prone, and take 33 psychic damage. Oof. Oh, I have had it. So you are also prone and cannot become unprone for one hour. I have had quite a bit enough of this young man. Um, so that will bring us to the top of the lineup, but before we start, Lucretia, just roll a perception check for me. I'm not good at those, apparently, but nat 20! Hey! All right. Never doubt. Uh, you see what looks like an empty potion bottle right here. Uh, with that nat 20, you recognize that, uh, in fact, I'll say that with a nat 20, you can smell what it is. It is a smell that you've smelled before. That is an empty potion of invisibility. And that will bring us, while you are contemplating that, that will bring us to Raynan. Are those knives still around me at all or no? Yes. Am I in danger or no? Because... They'll attack you, but they're not something you can attack. But I can move away from them. Yeah, but the, the cloud moves around. It's like a cloud kill effect. Here, let me uh, let me draw it out. Oh, okay. So I need to just, if I move out of it, I have to make a check, I guess? Uh, no. Oh, you're coming in a little low. Oh. Uh, no, you don't have to make a check. Just know that it, it it can move. So it might chase you. That's fair. All right. Um, 
I'm looking if there's an angle I could cast this fireball without singeing you guys. Yeah, we could really get out of the way, my friend. You could cast it here behind him. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. And then the 20-foot radius wouldn't hit them. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, there, I'm gonna there's an invisible person, but I, you don't know that. So. What's that? <laughs> uh, we'll just we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I hope there's I nobody fear. invisible back there. Um, so I'll just uh, again. Uh, I hate these spells that are outside the natural order. And again, who will uh, cast a? I'm only going to do it at, at a level four this time, though. A level four? Yeah. Which ain't, ain't half bad. All right. Um, you unleash the spell, and the fireball sizzles and disappears. And you feel the magical energy being pulled out of your hand as someone counterspelled that. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Well, thank you very much for that. <laughs> and uh, upon seeing that, um, I, did I see him make any movement or anything? Nope. Um, at seeing that, I'll just turn around and say, someone else is here. Someone um, invisible. They're not invisible anymore. They cast a spell. Oh, Lucretia, you now see, hiding behind the throne, a woman in very nice clothes with long blonde hair. And she makes eye contact with you and she says, shit. Oh, child, we are going to have words. All right, um, I'm going to move out of this. Okay. And uh, I have to end my turn there. Okay, you can now see the woman, too. She is right here behind the throne. All right, question. Does she look like anybody I may have seen as another character? No. Okay. <laughs> as I said, my um, past turn. All right, uh, Antoine will take his turn. Um, kind of trying to dodge the knives, he will also run out of the knife square. And he is going to take a couple of shots at Big Man here. At a boy! I was about to say, why are you even telling us that he's going to miss? <laughs> uh, so that is nine piercing damage, halved to four. And he will fire again and hit again. See, y'all just didn't believe in him enough. He gave us no reason to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Lagratia. I've had just about enough of all this foolishness. I am going to cast Polymorph on him. Okay. So I shall require a 15 uh, wisdom from him. Uh, he will fail. He will turn into a tortoise. And once he is a tortoise, I will say, Now, young lady, Mr. Tortoise, perhaps we can conduct ourselves like a bats. All right. It is now the lair action turn. Uh, the knives will move to here. So now I need, uh, actually the knives are gonna move to here. How much health does a tortoise have? I don't know. One moment, I can get you that information. I got it. A tortoise has... One health. Oh, fuck. Great. So the knives, one will stab the tortoise and he will turn back into this guy. Um, because I believe that is how polymorph works. It yes, it is. Um, and I need deck saves from Lucretia. Well, never mind. I need a deck save from... Um, Farut? Farut. Farut, you have advantage because of danger sense. Yes, I do. Beep, beep, beep. Ha, no. I try to diffuse things. 
Uh, okay, so that is um, 19 damage to you, Lucretia. I am at six hit points. And nine to the two barbarians. And this guy will also take uh, the remaining 18 damage halved to nine. What kind of damage? Piercing. Nice. Um, and now it is Anastasia's turn. Anastasia will cast invisibility on herself. Understood. <laughs> All right. Uh, Skibbent. <clears throat> I said I gotta drink a potion. Okay, that is a bonus action. Great. I'm gonna do that now. Okay. I'm gonna drink my greater potion. All right, 4d4 plus 8 healing. Great. What? That's not a d4. That's a... All right. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, all my d4s lined up. That's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... Plus eight, 12 plus eight is 20. Yep, so 20 healing. Nice. Give it to me, give it to me now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fine. Great. And, I mean, can I, can I bite him on the foot again? Yeah, go for it. I don't know what else I can do while being on the ground. I can't really swing any weapons. Go so, for it. I'm gonna do that. Still with disadvantage. Yeah, because... Ah, uh, correct. Yep. Unless you want to attack recklessly, in which case it would be a straight roll. Uh, let's see what... Uh, I'm good, actually. So that's 8 plus... Okay. 8 plus... Because 8, we already deemed 8 plus 8 is... Um... 16. 16, which does not hit. Fuck. Okay. Well, <clears throat> Second I, attack. I made, yep. Hey, nat 20. Doesn't nice. matter. Unless you roll a nat 1, it absolutely matters. Well, nat 20 and a 13, which will still the hit. The nat so. 20 still stands, because you remember, nat 20s beat because everything but a nat cool. 1. cool. Yep. That's right. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right. All right. Um, so that's a nat 20. Um... So I believe that is With my bite. 12 plus, so that's 19 plus a d12. Uh, it's a 1d8 plus 4 is the base for the bite. Oh, you're biting. So then it's 12 I'm plus biting. a d8. 12 plus 1d8, got it. That's 16. All right, nice. <laughs> Um, okay, so he will take 8 damage because he is angry. Um, however, are you at less than half of your hit points? Oh, math. I'm at... Uh, wait. <laughs> 1... 105 divided by 2 is 52. I am at exactly half. Okay, you also get your proficiency bonus hit points back because of your Form of the Beast Bite ability because you are at half or less hit points. You heal on the bite. Not a, yeah, baby. <laughs> uh, so you get yeah. your proficiency bonus, which I believe is currently five? Yes. Yeah. Um, I get that Would you like to help. use your, your uh, Infectious Fury ability? Yes. Thank you so much, DM. Yep, no problem. Uh, he will fail his save. Nice. So that is 3d12 psychic damage. <laughs> or 2d12, sorry. Not 3d12. Yeah, I was gonna let you. <laughs> I've been so nice to you. How dare you? You really have. Oh. A friend who has tuned into the stream has told has advised me to pull a tooth out and throw it in one of their eyeballs. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. Oh, Ashley. <laughs> Hi Ashley. 
All right, so um, roll that. I forget, I forget real people exist when I play this game. So I was fair. like, I was like, what the fuck? Um, what, one more time, Clint, sorry. Roll your 2d12. 2d12, baby. Holy shit! I want to take a picture of that. That is max damage on both dice. Oh, Man. nice! So that's 24 that's, psychic damage. That's 24 oh, that hit hard. psychic damage, baby. All right. <laughs> Farouk. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, he's looking tough right now. Like, that bloodied him. Fuck Did it really? Dude. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, well... <laughs> you know what it is. I fucking activate my aura. Okay. He needs to make a dex save of DC 15. Uh, he will not 20. Fantastic. <laughs> he takes nothing. In in trying to, like, grab his foot and jump away from this biting monster, he touches out of the way of your lightning. Nice. <laughs> so, like, so actually, good roll. job. <laughs> That's a, um, no, no, because it won't, it won't do the thing. Never mind. Can you... Non -lethal. Can you non-lethal and rage? No. Okay. Fuck this guy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I bonk him. Get I bonked. mean, he is decidedly not a good person. He has shattered the femurs of two of your friends. Yeah, but he's <laughs> doing it for love. <laughs> yeah. Well, 19 to hit. That hits. I'm, I have to, I'm not Zier, I'm not Zier. I don't care if people uh, never just, die. <laughs> just the same time going forward. The number you're looking for is 17. Stunning. <clears throat> cool, you take six, plus three, right. four, nine. One day, boy, right, you will be able to add strike to that. <laughs> and I will rejoice the power of monk. <laughs> That's a 12 to hit. That misses. All right. That's it for me. All right. Uh, uh, it is- Rage lasts. Ten rounds? Mm-hmm. How many? Hmm. Where are we at? Here, six? this is round three. Three. Why does the turn order say six? Oh, because it includes the previous rounds? Mm-hmm. From when we fought. Um, okay. he will recharge his ability again. Stunning? No. Well, it's about to be. Uh, he is going to uh, do the fist slam again, one for each of you. Understood. Uh, so this is against Farouk, which does not have advantage because you did not reckless this I didn't time. reckless this time. <laughs> I'm getting a little too low to reckless. <laughs> uh, dirty 20. Okay. <laughs> Let's see um, it. So that is 18 half to 9. True. Sure. And then against you, Skimmons. That's a nat 1! <laughs> He does not hit you. Does he punch himself nice. in the balls? Uh, no, he hit. He hits the toe that Skimmin bit. Um, and then he is going to. Um, he's actually going to look at you, uh, Farut, and he's just going to roar. And I need you to roll against his hex with a wisdom save. His hex. Yep. Oh yes. Okay. With a this ability is called save. crawling hex. <laughs> Not well. Didn't go well. I I shatter? You do, and you take 34 psychic damage. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Wait, what just that happened? That didn't sound good. Huh? Uh, the other barbarian got their femur shattered. I my, Yo, my, we are forever my, getting femurs just right. My iron. <laughs> I like to think like because I'm just made out of like iron and wood and shit like that. It just like chink, and then I just, just crumples. Get, yeah, I get shorter. Yeah, it's all like <laughs> aluminum cans. Like <laughs> kind of busted in. Um. Where? All right, but that'll be the end of his turn. Uh Raiden. Uh, the reason I made the noise um, I made is because I'm at exactly one heat point. Again, <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Don't worry, I got you. I'm gonna again. No, no, it's fine. We're good. Aim that fireball uh, within to cake out that. Do you have to spell magic out of your out of morbid curiosity, or am I the only one? Uh, I do, but I'm. You guys are in the middle of a, a sword cloud that I'm not gonna walk into. But you can just. Well, we I don't can't know. dispel the. Can I dispel the sword cloud? 
Who knows? Uh, I mean, honestly, at this point, I need to deal with uh, him as well. Um, let me see what I have available to me. Uh, yeah, nothing's going to be... Um... You don't have to walk into the sword club to dispel magic, though. You have a 120-foot range, and the sword yeah, club I know. doesn't... Yeah, I know. I was looking at something... Um... <clears throat> I was just letting you know that the sword, the cloud doesn't, um... Oh, say Samus is here! <laughs> Samus says, I leave for one session and everyone's legs break. Everybody's, it's not, it's mostly femurs. We're really, we're, we're running low on femurs. We're broken. Super broken. We're broken femurs now! Um, let me see here. Yeah, I'll... Also, hi, Blaze dude! <laughs> um, so yeah, I will, um, attempt to dispel the, the cloud there. Okay. Um, I will cast a level three. Dispel. Level three? All right. Uh, then I do need an intelligence check. Intelligence check? No. Yes. No problem. Um, tw 26. Oh, that'll do it. Uh, you dispel the magic animating the knives and they fall to the ground. And then you'll just see the way he does it again. He just kind of waves backwards like that, and you just see the knives just start. It looks like they kind of go... T -t 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 -t, like they're just being pulled away. Mm -hmm. uh, so what you actually pull out is you see um, soldiers and cooks, like ghostly forms, being pulled out of the knives as the knives drop. Because so, they were possessed. Um, so. Considering how his uh, spells work, mm -hmm. would you see them being like ripped back into the room they came out of? Yeah. And the kitchen door slams behind them. <clears throat> then I'll go. If you guys are going to do anything, you should probably do it now. We're running out of time. And I will uh, pass my turn. Um, all right, uh, Antoine will nod and he will put his gun away and he will pull out a sling and he drops a small, like, orb into the sling and <laughs> and he will whip, um, something at this square behind the two of you and you feel healing energy splashed over you as he throws a potion of supreme healing. You all heal... Uh, you all being the two barbarians, heal 39 damage. Sweet! Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but that is unfortunately his turn, which will Very bring helpful. us to Lucretia. That's okay. I will pop my, um, my greater healing. Okay. So that is 44 plus 8. For 17. Uh, plus an additional 4, because that doesn't take into account the extra 4. So it's 21. How bad is he looking? Uh, he's not looking great, but he's not, you know, he's not on his last legs either. <clears throat> and how are our two barbarians doing? They just got a pretty big heal, so Much I better. am five away from max hit points. I was sorry. You're asking for, after that potion, or you yeah. apply healing as well? Well, I apply healing or myself. Consider okay. I'm like I'm yeah, because okay. I have I have max cure wounds. But if you guys are okay, I'm um, I'm slightly below half. I'm vibing though. I'm still in rage. I 
Pass just did such a good job on this music. Definitely gonna get him to do the music for Plague with Fire. Ooh. Hurry up, Lucretia. Sorry, we're running out of time. You're right. Uh, I'm going to do a... Level 4 Magic Missile. All right. It, it hits. I mean, it can't not. So at a 4th level cast, how many bolts is a 4th level cast? Uh, it's just three glowing darts. Um, so it starts at three, so it's six total, so he takes 12 force damage. Cool! Boom. Nicely done. Um, Alright, uh, it is the lair action. Um, you guys hear uh, a screeching and a very loud, like, like, sound of flame from the kitchen. But the furnace is too slow to get to you this round, but it is on the way. The furnace is coming to kill you, so have fun with that. Uh, Farouk! Oh wait, not Farouk, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I was it, like, what? <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be skimming when he gets back. I mean, I well, can... Farouk, go ahead and go, and then we'll just let Skimmin go after you. I mean, you you know what I'm doing. Yep. <laughs> it's been the same each time, because uh, uh, that's all I know how to do. You are prone, though, so you'll have disadvantage. Just That's fine. Okay, just oh. letting you know. That's okay. Our friend back. We want to do Skimmin first? Yeah. Sorry. Skim. It's okay. You're up. I'm up. All right. Um... What, uh, I guess I'm, I really, I don't know what else, I can't, my legs are broken, right? Um, as far as you know. All right, well, I can't, I don't think there's really anything I can do about that except try to bite him again. Okay. Disadvantage, unless you want to be reckless. And reckless attack is... It would give you advantage while prone, it would just give you a straight attack. Right. And what are the consequences of it again? You can... You would have advantage on the attacks against you, but you would have that anyway because you're on the ground. Oh, and advantage doesn't stack. No. <laughs> so why would I want to not do that? Okay, yeah. I don't know. I was wondering. <laughs> Excellent. Let's do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. And is that for one attack or both? Both. Great. That's a nat 20, baby! There we go! So that's 12 plus D8. <laughs> well, I know what the... <laughs> Let's see what that would we go with that. Okay. 12 plus 8. Okay. So 20. Nice. Yep. Or, sorry. Well, D, I have to roll... Sorry, I have oh, to roll okay. the D8. I was just saying it out loud. 12 plus... It literally was 8. I, I promise you. I promise I be you. I believe you. That's, so, uh, max damage on a crit. That's absolutely the insane. way we go. Absolutely um, insane. Twice. I think you have two more uses of your Infectious Rage. Yes, I if do. If you would like uh, to do I've that. Been, I've been marking it off. I will. Okay. Uh, he will succeed this time. Okay, so it does. I don't have to roll anything. Okay. Um, cool. Um, then second attack, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, that is oh that is not a d20 that is a d12 that won't help no it will not see i rolled a d20 and then i rolled the dice again and it was a nat one uh but that was before i made this roll uh do you want i i'm i'm fine with holding myself to the nat one Let, let's hold ourselves to the nat one just let's just for it. this one yeah. okay yeah all right then that will bring us to uh fruit Now here Who's we go. Gonna be out for rooting. <laughs> the classic. All right, so I'll roll next my next save. save. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> uh, DC fifteen. Meets beats. Hell yeah! You take half. 
I sure will. Thanks, bud. Hmm. Half Give of me five. that beautiful lightning damage. Zip. All right. <laughs> this one's more like just a shot, like a hand buzzer. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, what the fuck? Just um, static. Great. You're, you're just short circuiting from your broken legs. I think, I think with that extra healing, Farut is feeling feisty. Oh, nice and, we'll, and we'll go ahead and, and, um, uh, we'll go ahead and reckless. Okay. Fingers crossed. Uh -huh. Okay, 25 to hit. That'll hit. Okay, take your 10. Bludgeoning. Well, well, recklessly, Plus because you have disadvantage because you're prone. Oh, it balances it out. Yeah, it's a 15 to hit, which will miss. That's fine. But I'll I'll keep the 10 damage because that's I pretty high. I forgore I was prone. It's okay. Um, You don't have to keep the 10 damage. Up to you. Whatever's easiest. I, I got a 16 missed. on the, I got a 16 on the second one. They missed. Okay. All right. So it is blows. his turn. How, how do I, how do I not be, how do I fix my legs? Uh, <laughs> you'll have I, to miss, that I miss my wife so much. Well, I have, I have good news for you. He does not regenerate this thing again. Okay, so he, great. he might be done zapping for a while. Okay. But he is going to try to double slam you guys again. That's fine. Come um, on and right. slam. So, again, welcome to Farouk. the jam. That will be a hit. I will Silver Rebarbs that hit. Okay. Oh, thank you. Um, What's the number? Well, he Silver Rebarbs that. Ah, with the Silver Rebarbs, it's a nat one. So it's a miss. And I will give that advantage to um, You know what? I'll give it I'm I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'll give it to uh, Anton. <laughs> All right. Yay. He needs it. <laughs> uh, oof. uh if you have something you can do, Dwarf, you're gonna want to because that is a nat twenty on uh, him and <clears throat> So as I'm watching him just about to come down again, I just go stop back and he just goes as i use my last um um class ability so now he'll have so to he re-roll re okay. re uh that is a miss oh god you guys are lucky oh, okay but don't worry clint this will be the last time you ever see silvery barbs from me again don't worry, I got your back. <laughs> no, it's it's okay. It's fine. This is a high level thing. I, I want you guys to have tricks. I don't want to kill you. Uh, speaking of, it is now uh, Renan's turn. I'm going to, uh, let's see. I'm going to charge it up again and I'll throw. It's instead of more of a fire bolt, it's this time he kind of creates it like a cog in a wheel and just throws and it's just again a level so it's gonna be a level three fireball okay uh it is countered good good um, so it was it was an outright just yeah if it's level three or lower yeah because counter spells level three so yeah. if it's level three or lower it's just countered i'm basically at this um, point trying to drain her spells you notice that she has only cast Counterspell on things that will hurt her. She doesn't care if you hurt him. <laughs> that's that's fucked <laughs> up. I, maybe. What a uh, it is. It is Antoine's turn. Uh, did she uh, become? To... Did she become visible? Yes. Uh, where is she? Right here. He is going to use that advantage to take a shot with his rifle. Uh, he misses, so he'll fire a second time and hit. For seven damage, have to three. All right, uh, and that will bring us to Lucretia. Uh, 
Uh, I grew tired of this. Let's see your counter off. Fifth level fireball. Ooh. Goodness. Where gracious. are you? Uh, where are you aiming it? Uh, I want to hit both him and her. Okay. Fifth level. Uh, yeah. But All right. I As actually you cast it. Actually, I hit, says, and I hit the third. I hit the third level one though. So it Antoine rolled. says, "What are you?" It doesn't matter. Don't roll any more damage because Antoine countered it. Guys, hear me out. Maybe we should kill Anton. <laughs> or maybe you should stop trying to kill the woman. Uh, it is now the turn of the uh, animated artifacts. Um, the furnace is making its way out. I can find. There it is. Okay. What's the movement uh, so on the this furnace? <laughs> um, it's not very vast, but it kind of just thunk, thunk, and it's gonna flare Antoine. Antoine is gonna make a save. <laughs> he succeeds, so he only takes half of this sixty twelve damage. Uh, Twenty one half to ten. Um, but that is the end of that turn, so Skimmond. Yeah, so... So we've got some... we got some stuff going on behind here. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one more thing. On the, on 20th, on the count 20, she's gonna try to go invisible again. If nobody stops her, she just goes invisible. So that's... The... I'm gonna try to, um, level... I'll level two counter spell. Oh, no, I have to do level three. Yeah, it's level three spell, yeah. isn't it? Okay, yeah. Then the invisibility fades. All right, so go ahead, Skimmit. <coughs> I mean, can I call out? Like, I don't know what else I can do but keep biting this guy. I don't know how helpful that is. And you're doing damage. Okay. Did, did the counter spell work or not? Yeah, the counter spell worked. Her invisibility faded. If we still need to damage this guy, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Um, I'm just, I'm in so much pain and delirium. I'm just gonna chomp, chomp on down. All right. All right. Two attacks recklessly, or the first one is a ten plus. Eight. That'll oh. hit. Oh, great. So, 1d8 plus 7. Yes. Was bound to happen eventually. That's just 8 with 1. Alright. He's starting to look tough. Like, real bad. Heck yeah. Uh, you get 5 hit points back. That's just reckless on the first attack, right? It's reckless on all attacks. All attacks, great. So I get five hit points back from that herd. Mm -hmm. Seven plus eight is eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fifteen. Fifteen. That does not miss. Hit. Miss. Not. Great. I bite the floor. All right. Fruit. I hit. Do you want to hit him with your lightning? I hit so hard. <laughs> yes, I do. All right. Um, he fails someone, the save. Someone needs to teach me how to play Barbarian in a way that isn't just hit. Unless that is the way you play. That is the way you play Barbarian. Take it from Adrastos. That is That's why do. I paused. I'm like, is there anything else I can be doing here? No. So he has to so many Your tasks. Your job is to face check things. Great. Hell yeah. Get face checked on some lightning, bitch. He did. He is at a dangerously low health. Cool. He took eight <laughs> lightning yeah. damage. And then let's well, reckless again. Okay. To counter to counteract the disadvantage. All right. Um 
I just, I'm flailing wildly from the ground. <laughs> um, let's see, with an anchor at, an anchor at ankle height an <coughs> an an is- It sucks, yeah. Is a rough one. Okay, that's a 23 to hit. That'll do it. So you get seven plus three, so 10 bludgeoning damage. All right. We'll go one more time. That's a 14, which is a miss. Yes. Okay. So Silvery Barb, so let you reroll. To reroll that one? Yep. Yep. That's a 23. Hits. Yee hee. Seven plus three, 10. All right. Yeah, ha ha. Okay. He is going to attempt to, uh, well, first, let's see if he gets his uh, evil eye back. He doesn't because I'm holding an anchor at him menacingly. From he does him. because the anchor frightens him. So <laughs> he's actually going to start with that this time. He's going to glare over at um, Raynan. Raynan, I need you to make a wisdom save. All right. Um, Should have saved that silver. Nineteen. Uh, that is a save. So you will take half this damage and not fall prone. Um, well, I still have my take... femur. Yes. <laughs> nice. You take twenty-eight psychic damage, half to fourteen. Oh well, that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, and then he's gonna duels lift the barbarians. So against <laughs> Jesus. Against Jesus. Against. Against Farouk, it's a miss. <laughs> and against he rolled nat ones for both of you. I'm gonna make him take his. I'm gonna make him take damage for that. All right, he takes damage as he slams his hands into the ground and hurts himself. Um. Uh, okay. And as he does, um, he kind of falls forward. Um. And the woman runs out from behind the throne with what you can see as a large, long, black-bladed dagger. And she drives it into his back and he... <gasps> and he looks down and the dagger has come all the way through his form. And he shrinks back to his Goliath size and he pulls it out of his back and he looks at it. And you can see it's covered in, like, poison. Ooh. Um, Antoine runs to her and hugs her. And says, "I thought you were. I, I didn't think we were going to make it in time." And Anastasia says, "Don't worry, my love. I told you this would work. Now this whole castle is ours." And the creature, <gasps> looking up, says, "Anastasia, why? I thought." I thought you loved me. And Anastasia laughs and spits at him and says, who could ever love an ugly beast like you? Uh. And he leans forward and he starts to softly sob. And then with a roar, he stands up massively again, grabs both of them in a hug, runs and crashes out the window off the cliff into the ocean holding Anastasia and Antoine. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was... Hmm. I don't like this lore. <laughs> this is... I don't want it. Put it away. <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> No, Over time, you. the curse passes and you are able to regain your standing and realize that your legs were not shattered at all. It was all in your mind. Yep. You believed that your legs were broken. Yep. <clears throat> Sounds uh, about right. Would you like to search the house? <sighs> Might as well. I mean, we're here. Yeah. You find magical artifacts and jewelry and a lot of gorgeous things. This was a well-kept house and you feel the energy of cursed objects as the souls in them are released to go to the other plane. And as the party takes their gains and their money 
and rides away on the cart with more questions than answers. A baleful wind blows through, and as it blows away the vines, we see at last the writing on the wall of Castle Gretos. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> Yes. And that, my friends, is the end of the Beauty and the Beast one-shot. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you, my lovely players. I hope you enjoyed this little look into the background of one of the deadliest of the Dukes.